Even with the giant macaw felled, the birds were not done causing trouble as a toucan swooped down and snapped Eloy's flute in two. As Eloy quietly wept over the apparent loss of his beloved memento, Anslow Green quickly dispatched the fiendish bird. Luckily, Wake was able to manage some quick field repairs on the flute, earning him the gratitude of a donkey man. Our heroes continued their march through the bug-infested swamp, making their way to Anslow Green's Bayou Village. There, they met up with the other scouting team and formulated their plan. The teams required a distraction party to travel upriver, so Wake, Ezra, and Eloy went to bargain with Onslow's rival, Old Young Cletus. After a heated argument with Onslow, some shrewd deal-making with Wake, and some flattery from Eloy, the old battle-worn gator agreed to help. The next morning, the scouting team split up again to head off into the swamp as old young Cletus and his crew motored upriver. The bugs were thick in the swampy air as our heroes came upon a nest of mosquito creatures known as Sturges. Wake, though at home in the swampy water, was nonetheless sucked away from the battle by treacherous quicksand. Ezra cut his way through the first wave of Sturges to help Wake up as a larger drone wriggled its way from the nest. Freed from the quicksand, Wake leapt into battle as Ezra took aim with his crossbow. The rogue let loose a bolt, and it found its home in Wake's neck. The Sturge drone took the opportunity to sink its proboscis into Wake, nearly exsanguinating him. Eloy, filled with concern for his friends, let loose on his flute with a horrible melody that filled the massive mosquito with dread, and it fled the battlefield. Drained of blood but unable to rest, our heroes had no recourse but to press forward. Hello everyone, and welcome to the table. Happy Halloween from me, the Senate. Oh shit, it's Halloween. Oh sorry, I forgot to put on my mask. Yeah, you gotta get that fixed. And uh, guys, I'm sorry, I kinda came into work there a little, we go. uh, came to work a little unprepared today. I don't have yeah, a why aren't on. you wearing a shirt, you I, I filthy got, casual? I got my sweatshirt on, don't worry. <laughs> you got a sweatshirt on, but you zipped it down, you f <laughs> Perfect. I need to be free! <laughs> Welcome to the bone zone. <laughs> and uh, who put this lamp in here? I'm just a human-shaped lamp. Holy fuck, it talks! I'm a human-shaped lamp from video game, uh, hot seller, Undertale. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so I've been gone. I heard the uh, ballad of Billy Punchy Face. It was a masterpiece. I I had a good time. <laughs> Went off. It was a good hitch. time indeed. And, and it all came full circle. You got to the beginning and you got to the ca canonical end, as Eloy foretold. <laughs> yep. No matter no matter how hard I had to railroad it to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Railroad it. it was all natural. Yes, it yeah. was organic. Natural role organic. playing. Organic. Natural role playing. <laughs> Cooperative storyteller. <laughs> what we likes to calls it. Cheating? Huh? Cheating? <laughs> <laughs> this is D and D, not a Nuzlocke. Mm. Yes. <laughs> but wait. So wait. Am I? Am I the D and D king? Uh, you are king of the pirates. No, the the king of the pirates uh, is laying oh, right wait, here on the table. Wait. Why is Karen here? Why, why do we leave him on He the never table? left. Yeah. He never, he also okay, forgot to eat. Okay, which one of you forgot to feed him? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Karen. He likes grave beetles, right? I gave him lots well, of those. Look, I mean, look at that. He was, he was eating the dice to try and sustain himself. He's got natural 20-20 vision in his eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> so, I've been exsanguinated. <laughs> yeah? I've got a little bit of my blood back. I, I got healed at the end of that last thing, so I'm not, I'm not in a horrible way. Yeah. But I'm still not feeling great. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna let you guys roll a short rest, so roll some hit die back. All right. Um, I apparently didn't take damage, so I'm fine. Yep. My hit die is a D8, I think? It's an eight. For, uh, for should be monks, I believe. And you can add a D6 to that oh, because of my- yeah, mm. that was never written. Song of rest. <laughs> yeah, so we'll Lovely. start with eight. Yep. All right, and add a D6. Yep. I feel Add a D6 and add your con as well. And my con. All right. That should get me up pretty high after taking all those heals anyway. Alrighty. So last we left you guys, you were uh, set upon by Sturges. Yes. Do I, get, do I get spell I, slots back after a short rest or is that only a long rest? You get one. I get one, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I get a couple of, I, I get like uh, 
one of and, my and internet, don't, back do as not, well. And do not fester if I am wrong. We'll figure it out later. House rules. House rules. He's yep. God. No. Don't worry about it. Don't yep. worry about it. Don't worry about it. I am, it's fine. I am, I am a hard but fair God. <laughs> Always hard, this Always, God. Yeah, just just super hard, and then <laughs> super of hard, ready to bend you over a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and no, then a couple more. That's on Monday. Up. <laughs> oh, good. But at least I'm ready fine. for these. Ones. <laughs> Don't hurt. Me. Well, no, it, no, it's fine. You guys, uh, let's see. Let me just double check one more quick thing before we go forward, because we did leave off a little bit of the script from last week before we moved on to the Ballad of Billy Punchy Face. All right, so I'm just sitting there eating some rations, trying to replenish what blood I've lost. <laughs> <sighs> I already gave you back your bolt. Yep, thank you. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. Quite helpful. From now on, I'm keeping my eyes in the back of my head whenever you're around. <laughs> Glad right. you didn't use your sneak attack damage. Just not going to shoot at you well, anywhere near you. Let's put it this way. You guys have taken your short rest. Yes. Now, I want you guys to all roll a survival check to continue on your way through the marshes. All right. Uh, that is... 13. 8. 17. Wow. Looks like I have blessed die. Let me, let me just do some mental math here real quick. For exactly one roll. Get ready for it to get bad. <laughs> I also rolled a nat 13, so if anything, it might be the least lucky Ooh. roll. Both of you, roll me con with disadvantage. Yeah, oh, motherfuckers. Geez. Is this about bugs or? Yes. I have scales, remember? Yes, I know. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> These are big bugs. 10. Con with disadvantage? Yep. That's, let's see. There's Which kind of sucks because you're, oh, you're non. Yeah, your non one was a nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay. You notice there was a sturge on your arm and just wipe it right off. Get the. I'm done with you! Unfortunately, you feel a really bad itching sensation on your hind quarters. I, I, I swish my tail to try and slap it off. No, that needs a. That requires a little bit more scratching. <laughs> okay, I'm. <laughs> I'm not sure how flexible my spine is. Can I see behind me and see what's happening That's back there? That's a welt. Oh, it's a big that, old... That is a Something's football, already got That you. is a football-sized welt on your rear end. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I got plenty of blood. <laughs> <laughs> for the, until, you take, until this is taken care of, for the next couple of hours, you have disadvantage on con saves. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to look through my, uh, my uh, healer's kit. Uh, I've got some... I've got some antitoxin. Do I know if that'll help with this particular problem? Well, if you want to go for that, I will allow you, since you have a med kit with you, roll medicine with advantage. All right. Oh, hey. nat 20. That's a 24. Never mind. You just, you just go, <laughs> <"Ugh!"> <laughs> And like Resident Evil, it just fucking fades away. <laughs> Eloy's magical healing salve. <laughs> I'm no good at the druid ways, but I'm real good at medicines, you guys. It's a perfectly good football. <laughs> <laughs> I chiseled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't kick a football straight. No how hooves, you know. You can't. There's no way to point them. Well, I mean, if you do get that hit, it would be a really fucking far kick, though. <laughs> uh, all right. So with that taken care of, you got. It is now close to midday. Like, uh, you're you're seeing the sun. Like, almost start to sink just above the trees. Uh, you And you reach the mouth of a... Yeah, you reach the mouth of a cave. It's uh, off the side of... Like, on the left side of the mountainside where the cliff is covering uh, your your pathway. There is an open mouth cave. And Onslow looks pretty satisfied as he's been here before and remembers this cave very well. Well, I know this one. Is this Yeldon Cave? Hi, son. This is Elven Cave. Hooray! I remembered a thing. Uh, I hear there's aid inside if we're looking for it. Aid? Hmm. Oh, you mean sometimes the tenants that live here. Yeah, the, that one. The, those are the people we were told about. The rat folk, yes. Well, unfortunately, I don't quite know where they reside. All I know is I come here to do hunting. So... If we find him, we find him, I guess. But I'm here for one reason and one reason alone. To walk away with a trophy. Good job on that, by the way. Telling uh, 
old young Cletus to head on off and do his little thing. Yeah, no problem. I mean, he's he's doing his job, I think. <laughs> you hear off of the disc. Like, this would be just like a smash cut to them just being chased by, by fucking naval ships. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jumps off a log. <laughs> Alrighty, so what do you guys want to do before heading inside? Uh, this looks like there's like a man-made campsite here, so like this looks like this is a common romping ground for like people to just stop at a checkpoint, but also to for hunters to go uh, past it uh, in and out. Uh, can I roll like perception to see if anyone's around, if like there anything lays in wait for us as we're approaching this cave? Go for it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, 18. 18. You notice uh, there is some very thick webbing on the edge of the mouth of the cave. Okay. So you can already tell that there are some spiders laying in wait. And big ones, too. Uh, Everyone be careful. I think we are going to have some eight-legged company once we get in this cave. Mr. Onslow Green, I got this. I got this lantern here. Is there anything in that cave that might be startled by a light source? I don't want to startle nothing. Well, of course, son. Everything inside there might be afraid of some light. But what I do know is, is that this, since this was kind of occupied by the rat folk, they do tend to do some housekeeping. So you may spook some spiders here and there, and maybe the slime going deeper into the mines. See about Yeldon Cave. Yeldon Cave. When pirates came here, they thought this was a nice place to bury some of their more personalized gear. And over time, well, we just don't know what happened to them. This place has been long picked of treasure, as far as I can tell. But then the rat folk decided, oh, we can use this as a checkpoint from the north side of the island to the south side. So, you may startle some unexpected company. Would they be more likely or less likely to murder me if there was light? <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to get murdered, sir. Don't worry, son. That's why I have this. Hold up his blunderbuss. <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is we would like to avoid conflict at all. <laughs> but that's why we're here in the first place, son. To hunt, not to, you know, make the locals angry at us. Well, Mr. Mr. Onslow Green wouldn't shoot shoot no nice rat folks, would he? Uh... I didn't see any of those heads on his wall. <laughs> I say as I'm looking around, just kind of making notes oh, in my son. cartographer's oh, oh, journal. Oh, son. You only went in the main room. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I've been accused of holding a grudge against the rat folks, so I want to be extra nice to them this time. I said some things that, that were insensitive. I'm sure they understand, <laughs> Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, you can tell that there's spiders uh, that's going to be heading their way inside there. Uh, does anyone else want to do anything before you go inside? Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and light my lantern and light the path for us. Alrighty. Anything on you? Uh, I'll be uh, just... I'll, I'll, I'll take one of my torches out. I'll light a torch. Alright, cool. Well, time to get Kieran off the table. Oh, we have entered a room. There we go, got that, and... Well, you almost knocked off the water. It's my water. I'll do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> He's down. <laughs> sure is. Problem solved. All right, boys, give me your, uh, give me your characters. That seems about right. I was going to say, yeah. I, would, I would think uh, with the you two having light sources, I figured one would be leading while the other was kind of the back, so we would have... Yeah, even coverage? Yeah. All right. So as you head on inside, you can tell to the left, uh, to the right-hand side of you, there is nothing but water. It looks like there's barrels and crates, like really disheveled looking... No, that would be to our left. To our left. I'm sorry, looking at the, <laughs> the opposite way. No worries. <laughs> yeah. 
To your left, there's uh, barrels and crates, uh, just adrift in some water. It looks like the fresh water kind of like puddled its way in. Uh, to your right, however, it looks like an actually well-fitted building. Huh. Uh, this looks constructed and fairly new, but with age and with its environment, like some of the wood's a little warped, but it looks like it's a serviceable uh, location. Are there any windows on it? Yes. All right, I'm going to approach one of the windows and just take a peek inside. You look inside. This place, uh, it seems to be an empty room from what they're, from the window you're looking in. You're looking in at the side where there's, like, barrels and crates right underneath you. Uh, across the way is a table and a bed and another uh, bunk bed off on the side. Pro- kind of a, what it looks like a fireplace as well in the uh, back end of the room. There's no one inside. It doesn't look like this room has been used for quite some time, but it does... Like, it looks like it was well-kept enough that someone could actually just sit in here for the day. All right. So, it looks like it's kind of a hunting outpost or... Yes. Some sort of a halfway zone to something. From what Onslow told you, he did say that the rat folk kind of tended this place out to some people who want to take it. From what you gather, that must mean that maybe if someone wants to hunt here or someone wants to just take the cave as a hunting grounds, they would take this place. Right. I relay the information back, just letting them know, like, yeah, nobody's here. I don't see uh, anything. Got a couple of beds in there. That's nice. Don't think we'll be uh, using them. (laughs) I never really did use this place as an outpost before. I know a friend of mine used to live here for quite some time. Until the slimes got him, God rest his soul. How many slimes are we talking about in here? Oh, just the one, son. It's just the man maw. It comes back every couple of years. We don't know why, but it does. Mm. If we let, and that's kind of also why the mayor keeps us around too. We kind of make sure things don't go unruly. It'd be kind of bad if that thing grew out of control, I guess. Right. And unfortunately, his wizard, I think the necromancer is what he's called, the ones that play with the dead and all like such. He's too busy to help us out with this sort of scenario right now. Something about your mission or some such. Right. I'm saying this while I'm continuing to kind of explore the room. I'm not going to move my character all over the place because that's going to be tedious. No, that's fair. Like, I'm exploring, like, the area over by the water over there, just kind of, like, looking over it, seeing how deep it is. Uh, You're seeing, like, lily uh, lily pads, like, growing up from underneath it. The water's kind of, like, stagnant. Uh, You do... Like, like, the bog is filled with bugs flying around it. Uh, the barrels on them themselves, if you want, you can try to go for a perception check to see if you can read what's on the barrel, because there is text. Sure. Uh, that would be a... Do I have... 13. A 13? The wood is so faded and warped that it's really hard to see, and plus with all, like, the lily pads covering it, it's kind of hard to tell, but... You do notice that the word wine is on there. Ah. Hey. Well, we got old, old booze in a bar- <laughs> barrel here, maybe. Oh, I have bad luck even with new booze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you look inside the water, from what you can just tell, most of the barrels over there are also booze as well. All right. No, I'm going to get in the water. I'm going to try to, like, roll these things to the surface. All right. Uh... Roll me a con. All them bugs saw you. Wow. Uh, that would be 15. Yeah, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I go under the water, and I, I, like, basically, like, the bugs are going at me, so I'm like, whatever. Splash under the water, and then I just kind of, like, push it from beneath. You got, a, like, two or three, or maybe, like, two or three just out of pure vision right now. You can see, like, there are piranhas just swimming around. They're not bothered by you. They're, like, really tiny ones, so they're not going to go for you. They're not hungry or anything. Yeah, I'm, uh, not, I'm not their preferred meal. Yeah, you're not their preferred meal. They got, like, little blind cave fish and guppy swimming around, too. Uh, you, you, where, you're, I guess you're going to go underneath. Uh, you notice that there are skeletons at the bottom of this lake. One of them looks like a halfling, another one looks like a, li- a bigger one, so you can assume that it's a dwarf and a couple of human uh, bodies as well. 
All right. Um, and when I mean bodies, I mean skeletons. There's, yeah. there's no flesh. They've no been flesh. Here for a Do while. they have any equipment on them, or were they like buried naked? Nope, buried naked. Oh, fun. All right. Well, I'm gonna like push these uh, barrels over to the edge to try to like roll them up on the shore. Okay. Uh, as you guys watch the barrels and the crates go by, you hear the clinging of glass on the inside as some of the wood is so warped that it's opened up. Ah. You can see like barrels and not barrels uh, you could see the little glass uh, bottles, bottles. Uh, still clinging around inside of them you push them over with no problem all right uh, so the, so they're up on shore now yes okay I'm going to grab a bottle of wine or whatever it is I guess roll me an investigation check sure yeah I hop out of the water just kind of shake myself off seven seven okay you just take it Go. how deep was that water just above your head. Just above my head. Now, uh, right. would I have to do anything to look at this wine to see, one, if it's still drinkable or anything? or uh, You would have to drink it. Okay. I'm not going to chance that. Mm. Can, I, can I give one of them a sniff test, see if I can determine anything about whether it might have gone over? All right. You want to open one? Yeah, I'll, un I'll uncork one and give it a good sniff. All right. Reflex save. Uh-oh. <laughs> Next save. <laughs> Sorry, Reef. Again, Pathfinder. Uh, Twelve. The wine starts bubbling and jettisons out of the bottle and completely misses you and starts <laughs> undulating as it hits the floor. That's slime. Oh, Mr. Onslow Green, is that what the man mall looks like? Not red. Okay, we have a non man mall living slime creature here. Is it. I'm guessing since I didn't open mine, it's still contained in the bottle. Do you look back at the bottle? Yes. What do you do? You, you I'm just I'm just holding it and looking at it to see if mine is also undulating slime or if it's liquid in there. You can't tell from can't that, tell from the can't bottle. Can't tell right. from that roll. Well, I'm not gonna. But open you can. It. You're not gonna open it, but you can shake it. <laughs> well, that seems dangerous. I'm just gonna just Let's gonna just hold put on. it back in the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the 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 stuff that got out is it like coagulating, forming? Does it appear to be threatening us at all? Uh, it tried to jump out at you, but it's like. Just looking at it, you know you could step on this and you'd be done with it. It, okay. just, it just tried to go for your face, but completely missed. All right, I'm, I'm going to keep a close eye on it and make sure it's not moving towards me threateningly. No, it's kind of just like <laughs> sitting there now, just like... Okay. Like, yeah. Well, so much for a fun day. <laughs> just like, but, I just want to emphasize, you suggested putting the bottle back, but I didn't. That's I, fair. I That's still fair. have it. It's just I'm not going to open it or be violent with it. It may come in handy later. Fair enough. <laughs> open it towards an enemy or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are other barrels. In, uh, you guys haven't gone inside yet, and there are other barrels on the opposite end. There's four barrels flush against the wall of the building, and there are two crates. These are a lot more clear, but still kind of in age. All right, I'm going to investigate the inside of the house. All righty, you uh, go ahead and get your... Oh, don't worry about getting your sick guy yeah, in no, there I'm just in yet. There. Yeah, so you get inside the house. Like I said, uh, as soon as you enter from where the window was, there is a crate uh, that actually is filled with ammunition. Hmm. Like, this is fresh ammo. Boxes, sh like shells for blunderbusses, uh, balls for pistols. Uh, there is also a table... Is inscribed with almost arcanic runes on it, so it looks like it's some kind of alchemist table. Uh, in front of you is a fireplace, and those are like little—that's a stool right in front of the table. Uh, there's another barrel right there, and then you got the bunk bed, and then just an, uh, another uh, table on that side. All right, I have the magic musket and the magic musket piece. So I'm guessing that's like they're in two separate parts and I don't necessarily know how they go together. Unfortunately, no. Okay. Probably have to make a hell of a roll to figure that out. Um, that would be a knowledge check. And a really, really good one. I can make a d20. Or I can make a 20. Let's see. I'm looking at these pieces. I know I have ammo here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Probably not. <laughs> uh, tink, tink. <laughs> Hey guys, I got ammo in here. Not work. I know. I know at least one of you has a gun. Yep. Onslow kind of just like waddles in. Like you, you hear, you see the house visibly shake, and he steps in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Eloy has a blunderbuss as well. Yeah, it got it got wetted, and I never did get around to trying to see if it could be dried and repaired. Well, you can uh, 
there are serviceable pieces of, uh, there are, like, sur serviceable tools, I apologize, serviceable tools in here. Like I said, this was, like, a little outpost, so you got some metal tongs, you got, uh, cloth to wipe stuff down. So you have stuff that you can, like, probably fix it a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, Eloy's a simple man, I think he'll, uh, stick with what he knows. He's got his short bow if need arises. Yeah, well, that doesn't stop, uh, Onslow. Onslow's just <laughs> having at that oh, ammo yeah. box right now. <laughs> let, let it go to the person who will make the best use of it. Yep. All right, I'm gonna check it, these barrels in here. Like, uh, were, the, were they just, were the barrels just full of ammo, or? Just that one barrel. The one crate over there was filled with ammo. Okay. The barrel right there, uh, next to the fireplace has not been checked yet. All right, I'm gonna check that barrel. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put that, put that down. So, how do you check the barrel? That's my favorite question. I'm gonna knock on it. Just like listen to see if it's hollow. Roll for edition. There's no. There's. No, it's not hollow. There's something inside of it. Dude. It smells bad. Real bad. Like, like when we were trying to find our way to Blacktown bad or a different kind of bad? Rotting flesh bad. Ah. Chum. <laughs> Alright, I open it. Oh, you're my chum too. I'm just gonna like put my, uh, put my spear on are... the top and pop it open. <laughs> okay, you peer inside and you see a rat folk face half eaten by maggots looking up at you. Hmm. There's a constitution save of my own no. will. Oh, okay. <laughs> DC 10. You're, you're just doing it for story purposes, I'm then. I'm good. I, I can feel, like, something <laughs> welling up. And <laughs> I, don't think I, can, I don't think I can fix him up, Ezra. <laughs> oh, we got a corpse. I hope that's not the, uh... You know. Onslow kind of just looks at it, <laughs> topples it over, more skulls roll out. <laughs> got corpses. Hope that's not the company we were hoping to meet up with. Nah, they, they said something very specific about how to find them. That being said, I don't know why they... I, I guess they could have been dragged out this way, but... Onslow starts, like, looking at, like, the other furniture. He's... Let's let's roll for him. Let's roll an investigation. No! He's got a three. This boy is not <laughs> investigating anything. He's staring at the ceiling. I want to make a survival check to see how long these have been dead. Alrighty. Um, probably real bad, uh... Eight? They're corpses, my dude. You don't like to look at this. Mm. They're yeah. dead. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna poke at them some and see uh, see if I can try and figure out what they died from. Would that be medicine? medicine maybe that would or be medicine. medicine or survival. Oh. Medicine or survival, your choice. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. These were di these were chopped. Like these were dead before they were dissected. Someone or something killed them and then put them into pieces and put them in here. Well, at least they didn't die by being dis like dismembered. I mean, this was murder. This was not. This was calculated murder by an intelligent creature. Ooh, I'm starting to back up your uh, your chum theory. I think that these these are set here to be bait for something else, possibly Maybe. the slime that's stuck in these bottles. Onslow kind of just looks over to you. That's morbid, even for me, son. We don't use ones that were. Well, we don't use ones that we don't like. So you use the ones that you like? Uh, use the one, we don't use the ones that we like, I apologize. Ah, okay. <laughs> we don't use the ones that we like as bait. But you like me, don't you, Mr. Onslow Green, sir? I can play you a pretty song. You know, come to think of it, son, I've never seen a donkey bait before. But now's not the time. You're a friend. Hooray! All right, so... So, no, this is weirding out Onslow as well. He's like... No. Ah, if it's weirding out Onslow, then we have problems. <laughs> then it's real yeah, bad. No, this is weirding out Onslow. He's like, okay, the slime is red. He, like, looks back in the ba He looks back in the barrel. I'm going to give him one more chance to look at this. No. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's real freaked out. Yeah, no, he's freaked out by this. So, <laughs> like, everything was fine up until... The slimes are red, and the people who seem to may have been owning this place are now dead in a barrel, <laughs> and just their heads. Mr. Onslow Green, sir, I, I'm forming a theory in my donkey brain. You said oh, the- Oh, slow down, son. You don't want to hurt yourself going a mile a minute. You said the man maw was not red, but that slime was red. Blood is also red. I also tell them that uh, it's at this point I'm like, you know, I, I just kind of didn't think nothing of it because, you know, we're in a cave- and 
everything else has just been kind of horrible, but there's a lot of corpses in that l pond over there. Oh, the skeletons? Yeah. That's been there. Okay, fine. Good, good. <laughs> At least that's normal. No, Those the, belong there. Yes. <laughs> no, part that, of the decor. That was... That was... That's the normal part. Yeah, no, that's the normal part because you see that? In there, that one of them corpses was old Yeldon himself. Oh. Ah. Nice to know that we've seen his cave. <laughs> well, it goes deeper. It's just that we may need to find a key. I know the doors are locked sometimes. Hmm. So Ansel, that's what Ansel's been kind of fishing around for. He's trying to look for a key. All right, I'm going to uh, check that other barrel that's up there, like near the, I near guess, the fireplace. Yeah, near the northwest of the room there. Uh, that yes, that is another crate. Go ahead, roll me an investigation. And that's that 20. twenty. Ooh, nice. You find serviceable cloaks. Hmm. Uh, this looks like this was used for. Sheeting, uh, just to cover your uh, cover someone's body when they go inside the cave. A lot of mining gear in here too, like pickaxes and whatnot. Hmm. And also a stick of dynamite. Ooh. All right, taking that. <laughs> I'll uh, poke around under the beds and and just around see if I can help Onslow find the find the keys looking for. Roll me. Uh, would that be investigation? Yeah, buddy. Not my strong suit, but any little bit. Oh, hey, not 20, 20, 21. <laughs> you felt something shift. You pressed the button. Do I know where-ish I pressed the button? Was it on the floor? It was wall? on the floor. It was where the head of the pil where the pillows would be. You just felt a button push. You watch as the as the <laughs> you watch as the fireplace actually starts to bevel in. Hmm. It doesn't open all the way, but it kind of just like latches up. It's like there's a pathway behind it. Right. This is a pushable wall. I go, I go and push the fireplace open. Easily opens. Yeah, and I uh, shine my <laughs> torch. Le torch. Yeah, torch in there. I'm gonna follow them over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking it's close to the group unless same. stated otherwise. <laughs> Ooh, look at the new path. Do 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 do. It's like a little you covey. The treasure room. You open it up. As soon as you enter, looking on, to, uh, looking to your left, you see the glint of brass on a chest. And then to my right, uh, there's the door. You kind of like peek over the other side of the door. There's another chest. We got two chests in here. All right, everybody, stand back. <laughs> I go and check the lock for any sort of traps. Investigation. I should really get better investigate. 19. 19. There was a needle spike. <laughs> there, was a, there was a needle trap hole at the bottom of one of the chests. All right. And this is old, too. These aren't new. These have been sitting here for, like, years. Do I? I just got to disarm it. I was going to say, yeah, what's disarming? It's like, a what is, dex what's... check, isn't it? Like, slight, uh, it's slight, it's slight of hand? Yeah, slight of hand. Oh, Kinda, shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. good at I that. You got thieves tools, right? I think yes. that lets you add your proficiency bonus. Uh, well, snap. you probably already have proficiency. I think it, like... Oh, yeah, if it's sleight of hand, then... Isn't it, like, do yeah. the... Are, are tool, like, I, I'm not familiar with using tools. Is that, like, do they allow you to roll with it advantage would be a, or... It would be a 1d20 with advantage, yeah. Okay. Okay. It would be whatever whatever the thing is, and I'm going to say it's dex. So, sleight of hand with advantage. Okay. I'm going to open this up. That's that. pretty good. Hey, it's That's <laughs> not good. Yeah. All right. So, uh... 22. 22? Child's play. <laughs> <laughs> you just like... Finally! You yes. just, My day has come! <laughs> you just take like a little mallet from your thieves' tools and just go... <laughs> and you see that... You see like... You hear like... You know the cartoon sputter of when a, a car engine dies? <laughs> <laughs> the, spike, <laughs> the spike falls out. <laughs> Alright. This should be safe now. Well, and... Uh, when I... When I checked... Did I check both chests? Because you just said just that... Just the one. Just, oh, I only checked one? Alright. Well, this chest is fine. Uh, if someone wants to open this and look into it, I'll go and check the other one. I check. Is it unlocked? No. No. Oh. <laughs> you know what? While while he's checking the other chest, I I'm pretty good with my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and try to unlock it. Sleight of hand would. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey! <laughs> just Fonz Aurelian. Yep, just fonz it. That's a good chunk of gold. Ooh. You're looking at 600 gold. Nice. All right, I'm going to hold on to that because it's probably And this is be... old currency. This is like old world currency. So it's not usable, but you know you can get a hefty price off this. Yeah. I'm just going to consider it 815 gold and... Because we, we're going to have to pay old young Cletus after this. <laughs> and I may have bargained for a price I don't have the money for. Yep, well, there was just pure gold inside there. All right. When I checked the other uh, chest, I rolled a four for my investigation. <laughs> it's a chest, boss. All right. <laughs> it, it's probably this, safe. This seems safe, guys. I'm not saying anything wrong with it. Oh. I think it's safe, too. The Anyone chest, else hear that? The, the, the chest just talk. I'm gonna stab the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Should that be what we do from now on? Just whenever we encounter a chest, we just smash it open. You, you know, I like this as a policy going forward. <laughs> Roll the hit. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, that is 17. Twenty-one. Twenty-one? You hear a tank, but then you feel your spear kind of just stop. You look, and there's a red <laughs> there's a red tassel holding it by the head. The cars are fast. <laughs> That's a tongue. <laughs> so I was correct. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah, hi. Did you put that away, please? That depends. Are you dangerous? Do you mean us any harm? Could you just put this away, please? Fine. I, like... <laughs> with a little bit of a flourish, I he put the like, spear back. Ah! Yeah, okay. yeah, no. That chest is talking to you. <laughs> this is new. Hi, I'm Eloy. Careful, Eloy. We don't know what his intentions are. I mean, he's so cute, though. You want to be friends, little buddy? It didn't immediately attack upon me stabbing it, so I'm going to assume it's that depends. Are not hostile. With, are you with young, Are you with uh, Yeldon? Was that one of the scaly scaly boys down in the? Oh, he's dead. I, apparently, I've for seen, quite some time. Yeah, from what I've seen for a long while now. Shit, how long have I been asleep? Hmm. Well, we do well, have some old world currency over here, so we can probably estimate. Well, in that case, you can't come in. Sorry. Mouth kind of this hunk goes back inside. Oh, hey! Just hey. because we're not friends with Yeldon doesn't mean we can't be friends with you. Are you? How long you been sleeping? Are you hungry? I'm, I'm always powerful hungry when I wake up. You want some? You want some food? I offer him some rations. The, like you see, like the <laughs> the little like rim like has a singular eye, just like. <laughs> the tongue comes out and pushes it away. No, it's bad for you. Do you uh, eat gold? Vegetarian. Yes. Ah, there <laughs> we go. I found it. Uh, so this gold that I got from that other thing, uh, what form does it take? Is it like bars, coins? They're like hexagonal uh, tokens. Yeah, okay. hexagonal tokens. I'm like, I, I, fl I flick one towards it. Ting. <laughs> How's that? Just like, just like master. Yeah. Here, you want another one? How much you got? Uh, I got I got a few. How much is a few? How much do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Always make the other guy say a number first. All of it. Mmm. Well, all right. <laughs> I hand him 30. <laughs> <laughs> the eye starts sinking away. Wait, wait, roll. Roll me persuasion. Uh, my charisma zero, so twelve. Yeah, no, the ice sinking away. You wait, wait, wait! Fine, you caught my bluff. You caught my bluff. Here's fifty. It's unreasonable, guys. It's unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that so? Here, I got this. Oh, hey, on the gun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put that, put that down. We. Let's let's try and be civil about this. Now, uh Mr. Miss, Mr. Chest. Did you just assume my gender? <laughs> I mean, it's more I'd say Mr. as a form of respect it's too. It's it. 
Okay, I am sorry. Chest. What? <laughs> I'm just joshing with you. Do you, do you have a name? <laughs> no. F funny, funny chest? No. Well, I'm going to call you Trunky. Now, <laughs> Trunky, <laughs> it seems you've got a taste for this gold, and uh, we might not have enough to satisfy you on us right now if Wake is to be believed with that being everything he's given him. <laughs> uh, but there could be more in it for you if you can help us out. Roll, persu uh, roll uh, persuasion. Shit. Uh, nine. I'll only accept if you give me everything back. What's everything? Six fifty. Six fifty. <laughs> On the dot, huh? <laughs> and those coins only. Also, I, uh, why am I making Chunky sound like Meatwad? I don't know. <laughs> why not? It's, it fits. You know it's canon now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also glad you're already referring to him as Chunky. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say this out loud, but I'm thinking to myself, I didn't even get that much from that chest, <laughs> so I'd need to find more. Well, Chunky, the problem is we've given you what we've got. Uh, I'm assuming you said this That's taste bullshit. Hey, watch your mouth, young chest. <laughs> it seems you're friends with Yeldon. We never got to meet the guy. I'm sure he was swell. We found, we've found we given you the gold we found, I assume, from him. No, it wasn't. There was a huge drunk. Oh, well. You seemed to ask if we knew him, and you referred to him as master, so it seemed like there was a positive relationship oh, here. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a relationship there. It's just that he's a drunk. <laughs> well, he was a drunk. Um, yeah. That sucks. I knew humans were going to die anyway. Either way, I'm just curious. Uh, we found some dead bodies in this cave. You've been asleep for a while. Do you remember just anything noteworthy about this place? Something that, you know, travelers should perhaps be aware of before venturing further? I mean, I did kind of shout at whoever was here before to keep it down because he kept screaming about a tiefling. All right, that's good to know. <laughs> How long ago was that? I don't know, man. It's, I've been in here for God knows how long. And Trunky, would you like to leave? Do you have the means to have get up and go Have you ever seen the sun? Yeah. I was, you, I was made there. Would, would you... You were made on the sun? I was made in the sun. <laughs> would you like to see the sun again? Because the sun is worth more than all the gold <laughs> in the world. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a 10. <laughs> that's, that's it. He kind of was into it at first, but then he's like, eh, sounds overrated. Is, how big is this chest? Would I be able to, like, strap it to my Donkey saddlebags back. and tackle and such? I mean, you could. <laughs> you want to ride on my back? This, this thing, like, if, you, if you're going to hunker this thing around, though, be prepared for some encumberment. Okay. Probably denser than it is, like big. I'm guessing. Yeah. Also, remember, it's a creature, so yeah. you don't know how act what the actual weight of this thing is. Gotcha. I'm gonna do something stupid. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to investigate the room, or I guess perception, whatever it would be, the room before to see if I can find anything that would work as makeshift wheels. <laughs> makeshift wheels? Yes. Uh, all right. Roll me investigation. You got barrel lids. Mm -hmm. Uh, seven. Yeah, no, all you can think of is barrel lids, uh, maybe the barrels themselves, but it's going to need a lot of makeshift working. I share my plan with the group. If we can get this guy mobile, I'd at least like to do them do him the favor, just out of the goodness of our hearts, to uh, let him be able to at least be slightly more mobile. Where the fuck are you kidding? You're talking to a chest. You want what's inside me. No! I'm Listen, Trunky. May I call you Trunky? I'm going to call you Trunky. Not really, but you're doing it anyway, so fuck it. I... I, I honestly just want to be your friend because I never met nothing like you in the whole wide world before. I don't even know what you are. Oh, I'm an asinine centaur. I'm a mimic. Cool. Can you mimic? <laughs> can you he's, mimic he's, other stuff he, too, he, or he, he just, just, he just looks? He looks over to wake. Holy oh, shit! He's never seen a mimic before, has he? No. Which is why I typically did not trust I, you. I definitely have not seen a mimic before. Well, maybe you have. You just didn't know. You know what? Fair point. <laughs> it is true. 
I know there's, uh, Kevin outside. He's a dick. Kevin the Mimic? Kevin the Mimic, yes. <laughs> See, Master favored him more than he did me. He didn't even give me a name. I was the Is new... that why you're shoved in the closet? I was the new guy, yes. Ah. You hear that, Kevin? You're an asshole! Fuck you! <laughs> you hear that from right. the world perception to hear where that came yep. from? <laughs> Nat 20. That came from over where the, where the water was. All right. I was ready for it to be the barrel that had the chum in it. <laughs> <laughs> we reached our hands just a little deeper. This is just a little cave of wonder, isn't it? I'm going to go talk to Kevin. <laughs> Clearly, Trunky and I aren't seeing eye to eye. <laughs> Trunky, is there a... Is there a Key around. We're looking for. We're, we've been looking for a key. Huh? Hold on a second. <coughs> oh, it's in there. Can I have it? No. Oh. The master told me that I'm never supposed to open to anyone except for him. Oh. I got an idea. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna dive in and collect those corpses. <laughs> really? Yes. All right. You grab it. It's just like. <laughs> You, then you also hear, you, watch the ripples, God! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to this. Like, this you, water's you, stagnant. You look, you look over to your side. It's a sheath. A sword sheath, kind of bobbing in the water. What is this place? Kevin, I take it. Yeah. All right, I collect him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, that seemed rather rude. Yeah, well, Chunky doesn't seem to like Kevin. We'll see. Uh, maybe he can be a bargaining chip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I bring the bo I bring the bones of Yeldon and his friends. Yeah. Hey, look! I brought your master. You should probably open for him. He's fucking dead. Or is he? I think what my colleague Wake here is trying to say is that your master, who told you to only give the key to him, isn't around anymore and capable of taking it. I hold out the open hand of the skeleton. <laughs> huh? I don't understand what... <laughs> Trunky, I'm not aware of what other content you may have within you, but the key is what we're really looking for at the moment. If you could please spare it for us, if not for your master, Look, Yeldon. Okay, listen, listen. I'll give you the key if you just give me the gold. <sighs> I, so I was not observing <laughs> how much he actually got out of there. I want to roll uh, insight to see if I believe he's given him all the gold now. Oh, no. Oh, I got a 21. Well, <laughs> you know for a fact I did not give him all the gold. Well, I wasn't watching you take the gold out of there, so I don't know what all the gold entails. <laughs> yeah, if you, Except that wait, I no, now strongly suspect. No, 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 suspect. then you roll bluff. Oh, roll bluff against Eloy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Roll deception. No, yeah. no, you you, no. you see through me. Okay. You, you read him like a book. He did yeah. not. Eloy's give him. Mr. Honesty. All so right. He's not <laughs> gonna let you lie about I was it. trying to fool my own character and I failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. If like someone goes, I think you're lying. You just roll uh, d uh, deceit. Okay. Deception to him. All right. I uh, <laughs> may may I have a word with my associate outside for a moment? We'll be right back. I mean, sure. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Thank thank you, Trunky. I. <laughs> Beck and, Beck and Wake out, outside the little building. All right. So, all right, here's, here's the thing. I have a very special song that tends mm -hmm. to make people very agreeable. I don't understand this, okay? And it kind of freaks me out, so I don't like to do it. Yeah, it I tends, understand, Eloy. It tends to make them real agreeable, like real happy for a while. And so for a while there, I was playing it for everybody. But then, after it's over, it makes him real mad. Mm. I don't know, Kevin. It looks like he's having a conflict of interest. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to the sheath that I brought with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Move my hand. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just felt like, like a bite. Just like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. You idiot! <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was at the sword part. There's just a really toothy mouth just screaming at you where your hand was. Sorry, I thought your mouth was at the sword part where they shoved the sword in. No, why would you think that? Because it's an opening. Now, to be fair, I have lots of openings I don't talk out of. Fair. <laughs> It's not the mouth, it's the other end, so you what fool. Was, what was the question again? I'm sorry, because Kevin was just like... 
<laughs> no, I'm asking Kevin what he th what he what he thinks of. Uh, I mean, I can Eloy's predicament. I can do it, but if if I screw it up, he might not be willing to help us even for the gold. Look, I'm also willing to give you something if you could find me the sword. It's just the way mimics are, my dude. Ah, fair enough. I like this trendy mimic, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates, you know, we're doing that. <laughs> What'd this sword look like? It was just any old cutlass. I, 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 the master just often used to just take any weapon he found and just sheath it in me. And since, you know, since I'm a mimic, I could just open the, I can open the hole to any sort of like sword he wanted to put inside. I mean, I got a couple of short swords. If you just want a sword in you, I mean, I can make that happen. Just so you know, I'm going to eat it though. Oh. I mean, I can always get another one. I don't use it that often. Are you offering? I mean, he if, seems hungry. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can help us out. I mean, we're trying to. Thing is, we're trying to. To Mr. Mr. Onslow Green said he was looking for a key, and and Trunky made it sound like he had the key. Oh, you wanted the key to the door to the back? Yeah. Oh, cause he's got a different key. Oh, really? What's his key go to? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, wait. He's like, he, he literally just went, I don't know, wait a minute. <laughs> uh -oh. I, wait. Oh, I think I know where it goes. See, now uh, he looks over to Onslow. Or, or you think, you can feel him shift in your hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. It's this weird feeling of being puppeted to look <laughs> over at Onslow. Hold on, twist me over that way. <laughs> <laughs> So the mouth. So now the mouth just like looks over at Onslow. Oh, I know what your kind want. You want to head down to the. You want to head down deeper. Yes, son. I want to head down deeper. Okay. See, what Trunky has is where there's a there's another door around here somewhere that uh. Well, since he's dead, I don't think it really needs to matter anymore. Thank you. You're an agreeable sort, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks. I just, I'm really hungry. I just want that sword. Man. I get you. Okay. I'll so get you that sword. He's got a key. I don't remember where because it's been like forever. And for all I know, the caves may have changed as time went on. I've been sitting in that water for like, I don't know, 500 years. Whew. And you know what? You don't even look warped. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. I'm not from this plane of existence. Yeah. It's impressive, that. <laughs> <laughs> There's another, there is another hidden cave around here somewhere. I don't know where, because, like I said, many of things could have come by. This place could have been changed because of, like, we're in a watery cave. So time may have just made a fools of us all. But there is another door in this cave somewhere that uh, Old Yeldon had a lot of other fun little items he found that were not his booze collection. Ah. Speaking of, uh, Kevin, have you been awake for these 500 years? Have you been, like, you know cognizant of what's been going on around you at all. Oh, well, if it's lizard folk just coming on in, I figure they're just here to kill the giant slime that usually just comes every couple of years. I'm curious about the red slime that is inside these wine bottles that seems to jump out at anybody who opens them. Red slimes? What are you talking about? I pull out the wine bottle that I've been keeping, holding it away from all of us. I open it. The red... The, you, you pour it out? Yes. It's red wine. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Okay, the last one. I, I take him over to where the little undulating yeah. one landed. It's gone. Oh, it moved. That's probably not great. Earlier, we opened up a wine bottle, and there was a little red slime in it. We've been told that the man maw, the slime monster who lives here, is not red. So we were wondering if this is a, a different... The man maw? What the... Oh, that's what these... What that's, the croc that's, folk call That's them. what he's calling them. Yeah. That's stupid. Who calls it that? The, the croc folk. Onslow's just like reaching for his gun. Onslo, Onslow, and no, everybody. <laughs> Wait, are you an alligator or a croc? <laughs> I look. I look. He at, just I look looks at. at his, he I, just looks at you. Just like, are you really asking that question? I look at his nose. Is it pointed or is it rounded? He's an alligator. He's got jowls. Okay, he's a gator. <laughs> gator man. Onslow, everybody has different terminology for things, and, you know, this guy's been here for 500 years. Onslow Some Green is not a thing. He's a people. I'm not saying Onslow Green is a thing. He's a great man. Giant stubby hand Trun just, like, Trunky. pats down on your head. <laughs> Trunky's a thing. He said so. I'm... I'm, I'm no get, see, this guy gets it. 
I have no idea what the difference is. I just like to call people what they like to be called. Hey, you know what? We could all learn a lesson from you, Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, yeah, no, I got so, in a whole lot of trouble about that rat so, folk thing. And so I'm just really Kevin trying. Kevin the Mimic She has no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> the only time he's ever seen the slime was... He does uh, tell you the slime he's ever seen was always green. Okay. And he has not paid attention to who comes and goes in here since, like, you know, he couldn't turn to actually see it. Just bobbing in the water. Yeah, he's just bobbing in the water. So all he's seen is the ceiling. He could just hear things go by. He does tell you there was someone in here who didn't sound like a gator, like a common gator folk. Like, there was someone in here, a couple of rat folk were talking to someone who was just very angry about magic. Like, just, he kept going on and on about experiments. So it was a person, like a man. Yes. Drunk, he did tell us someone was yelling about a tiefling, so. Yeah. Oh, that's what that was? It was kind of halfway in the water. Oh, I'm not confirming. I'm just saying that might be what you're talking about. Did you hear any uh, struggle with the rat folk? Like, um, you know, decapitations or <laughs> stabbings? No. I didn't hear any. So, as far as I know, the only kind of, like, decapitations I've been hearing is the piranhas eating fish in the water. Hmm. So, the only options there are that they died peacefully, like getting poisoned, or I mean, they there, died there is, off-site. There is yeah. a further... There, yeah. You can go deeper into the yeah, cave. That's uh, the thing here. Kevin, you seem to know a bit about this place. I know you said the caves might have changed over time, and you haven't been able to witness it, but have you been deep inside these caves before? Once or twice. Would you mind coming with us and helping us? Should there be anything you could guide us through? Yeah, because even if even if I did have the amount of gold, like even if I did have the amount of gold that I could give to Trunky up there, Eloy rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't. <laughs> Whatever you For say. Real? Like. <laughs> I actually really don't. Really convincing. <laughs> I am at least fifty short. Would everyone be agreeable that any sword we find along the way we give to Kevin? I mean, Kevin, here you can. You've been you've been a big help. I give him one of my short swords. You can have this right now. You uh, you see hit inside of him. Yep. <laughs> ding ding ding. The the handle just falls right out. Oh, I haven't tasted steel in years. This is amazing. <laughs> I want Kevin to join our party. Yeah, I'm just gonna put him in my belt. <laughs> Tell you what, buddy, I got two of those. Uh, well, I had two of those. I want to hold on to this other one just in case while we're in the cave, but as soon as we're done, that other one's yours too. Well, here's the thing, man. Let me just let me let me just uh, give you a little bit of information. The reason why I'm being so agreeable with you is that as long as you feed us, we tell you truths. And when roll you, inside, see if he's telling the truth. And when you feed us, <laughs> when you feed us the right amount of something, we'll give you the honest truth. Roll ah. thirteen. Do I believe him? Fifteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen? I guess you do. All right. <laughs> but he did He did mention that if you feed him, if you feed them their full conditions, yes, then they will give you the honest truth. Mm -hmm. But they will give you truths if you feed them. <laughs> so they won't tell us everything. There so, might be lies by omission, but... So how many swords do you want, Kevin? Hmm. What's that thing that is really powerful, bright, but it also, like, when it gets thrown at someone, people scream and say that they hate it, even though they loved it for 15 seconds. The fire? sun? What What was that? Fire? Yes, I want to eat fire. Oh. I shoved my torch in his face. No, 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 no <laughs> that's wood, you idiot. I want a fire sword. Oh. A flaming sword? I don't think we got any of those. We've got so a I mean, stick can, of dynamite. I can feed you fire. I like. I take a bit of the fire. No, because the... that's that's half the meal. I mean, I got. <laughs> it's an appetizer. I mean, I got all I'll this. I'll give you a truth, but that's about it. If you give me fire. I, I got this lantern oil. I could coat my other sword in oil <laughs> and set it on fire, and then would that be tasty for you? I don't know how to cook for cook swords for sheep. I mean, there's, I guess... there's probably a sword made of fire in here somewhere. That he's talking about. I mean, here, I, have some of I this. I mean, I guess that could possibly work. I I, sho I, sho I, sho I shove some of the fire that I've taken off of my torch in his, in his uh, <laughs> mouth hole. It's not how you feed somebody, Wake. I don't, you wouldn't like it if I just took a steak and went... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you just shoved a sword down its gullet. You, I asked first. So did I. <laughs> said he'd give me a drink. And he... <laughs> <laughs> he 
Keep the fire! <laughs> and what's best is that you're force feeding this thing through its thing and it just told you its mouth is on the sheath. So it's like, you're putting it in the wrong hole! <laughs> It's the wrong place that's not where fire goes. <laughs> it burns when I everything. <laughs> okay, he's like, all right, well, ask me a question, I guess. You gave me part of what I asked for. Um. You didn't even have a question ready, did you? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I mean, you didn't uh, have a question? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna ask if he knows where this fire sword might be. There is no fire sword. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move. <laughs> we're gonna keep, we're gonna continue down this hallway here, I think. Alrighty. Just gonna leave Trunky. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Onslow's just like, Alright, son, but if you wanna head that way, we still need a key. Unless you wanna work your magic and try and unlock it. None of us do magic. Magic's wicked. Now, Easy, Eloy. You just, you just see here, Kevin. I'm made of it. <laughs> How hard can oh. these doors be to break, really? I, I just offend people wherever I go. I don't mean to. It's all right, Eloy. We all understand. <laughs> I meant wizard. You know what? I'm just going to shut my donkey mouth. <laughs> so down these two corridors here, I'm guessing those are two doors? Yes, there are two metal gates, actually. Ah, uh, metal gates. That's... Significant one, one of them, one of them is a, one of them though. The one on the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I keep looking at it. It's my left, but on your left, there's a metal door, uh, as well as the gate. But it looks like the door has kind of been warped. This uh, has been warped with uh, the cave. Ah, so that's why it's like the only option you probably have to get through there, like easily, more easily than just going through the door is the gate. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to investigate it and see if I can find a way to unlock it without the key. 19. 19, eh? All right, so you walk over towards the door? Yes. The moment you set foot in front of it, you hear humming. Like, <sighs> like rune humming. There are three magical runes on the ceiling looking down upon you. They don't fire, okay. but, they, but the moment you step towards them, they started activated. Kevin, do you know anything about these? I point up at the runes. They just look like sensory. They just look like sensory runes. I'm so guessing they know you're there. <laughs> do they attack? Will they will they hit us? Are they dangerous? That was the truth. Okay. <laughs> How I about that other doorway on the other side? That one is a gate, but it also has a little hole that you can peer through. I shall go peer through the hole. All righty. Uh, you have dark vision, yes? I have a torch. So you want to hold the torch and try to peer in there? I can toss the torch in there if I need I to. I have dark vision. <laughs> well, would you like to trade places? Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at, you do more magic stuff than I do. Maybe you can figure these runes out. I don't do magic. You, I, I've seen you hold fire and throw water at people. It's That's different. I'm talking to elements. Uh, oh, it's like the druid ways. I guess. Oh, you're way better at them than I am. <laughs> All right. So you peek through? Yes. Roll me perception. Damn it. A uh, 12. A 12? Uh, With there, dark vision, <laughs> there are you don't you can't see too far in, but you do notice that there are long stone tables that kind of like edge out of the wall, and they do have they have uh, pictures on the bottom of them. Like there are little like gargoyle esque picture uh, picture esque uh, picture esque depictions along the wall of the uh, bottom of the table. I'm seeing some big tables and some very nice portraits of some gargoyles. Uh, I rolled a 17 for Arcana on those uh, runes. All righty. Uh, roll for 17. You can tell that by walking <laughs> underneath them, they are activated. However, this, uh, however, you feel that it would be best to decide which one to walk under. Like one, Like, two of them seem not okay, but one of them seems like it, it should be the correct one to walk through. So, uh, 
He was standing underneath them. He never continued forward. Okay, so uh, just by just by that knowledge, I do not know necessarily enough about them to know which one is dangerous. Yes, Man, but you do know world. that like you f you can feel just by the magic that's emanating off them that one two of these things are like booby trapped, while one of them is the correct path to go step under. All right, can you give me like vague shapes for them, just so I know like one, two, and three? Yes. So. I'm just gonna call them one, two, and three. Yeah, so there, there's the one shaped like a one, one shaped like a two, the other one shaped <laughs> like a three. <laughs> so think of it this one. There's a, a le like they're like kind of like moons, but like almost like eggy moons. So it's like one's curving to the left, one's just an egg, and the other one's curving to the right. Okay. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in here, it looks like there's some tables and pictures of gargoyles. Uh, so I'm up against the door now? Like, I'm, yeah, you, I'm are against like flush against, you are flush against the door. I am going to try and check if the door is trapped. Go for it. Uh, that's investigation. Mm -hmm. 14. They are not trapped, but it is a fine lock. Okay. We've got a real nice lock over here. I can, I'll attempt to do something to it, but... It seems like serious business. You got thieves tools, you get advantage. That's true. Uh, 18. 18? Yes. You unlock it with ease. Oh, hey, I got it. Oh, oh. It turns out you're real good at this. I'll uh, check this room later, I guess. Cautiously open the door. <laughs> okay, you open the door. Uh, I'm gonna roll perception before just waltzing in, just to look around, just to get another real good look in there. Go okay, for now it. Now they got a full view. Yeah. Again, also dark vision, in yep. case that, if that matters. Um, uh, 18. Well, it's a good thing you look, cause there's a giant hole in the floor. <laughs> hey, be careful! There's a big old hole right here. Watch your step. And uh, looking down the hole, you notice that there's more cobwebs, and probably spiders down there. Uh, from what it looks like, it's a 20-foot gap to jump across. Who here's got some good jumping? Me. I got some rope and a grappling hook. Will that help? That actually might not be a bad idea if we tie a rope to him and he jumps across. You can just toss me the hook. I mean, that too, but <laughs> you well, know, then the you'd have to catch it. Also, if we tie it to you first, if you do fall down, we could just haul you right back up real quick. I mean, I guess. I'm not saying we're it's likely you were for you're a real right? good jumpy man, but better safe than sorry. All right, what do you what do you say, Kevin? We make this jump. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tie the uh, rope around my waist. All righty, it's a dex check, I think, for tying a rope. No, I'm just for the right, just fair sake enough. Of, so this yeah. is for the sake of brevity, I'm just oh, gonna be like, All right, you cool. do it. All right, I anchor the other end of the rope to something. What's that something? Uh, let's see. You said there are stone tables. Is there? Th are they across? The they're gap? across the gap. Oh, they're across the gap. Uh, we does can, the uh, door just... have a knob or a handle that I could do that to? No, it was just a flat, just a like, flat, door. flat door that you had to push. Huh. I mean, we could hold it. Yeah. It's not, it's not the best option, but it's better than nothing. Uh, well, I mean, between the two of us, we're probably okay. Oslo's here. We can tie it to him. <laughs> He's a big fella. <laughs> Is he just holding the rope? <laughs> hey, Just I'm gonna take bite it. it. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm gonna take a ten foot running jump. Roll me acrobatics or athletics. I apologize, or of your choice, actually. Of my choice, I'm going acrobatics. All right, that's kind of on its corner. I'm just gonna. Yeah, go that. ahead. Roll it again. Yeah, you uh, that's a that's a. That's that's nearly twenty seven. You think. clear it with ease. Yeah. Whoop. Wee. Do a nice flip in the air for flourish. <laughs> there are more cobwebs on the other end of it. Wah! Poof. Oh wait, it'd be here if it's twenty feet. Yep. All right. Is there anything over here to anchor this rope to? Uh, you look off to the side. There is a giant body of water. Uh, just by looking down it, you can see that there is a hole that leads down 
into this into this uh, body of water. There are like two or three stalactites uh, and stalagmites hanging across, so you could tie it to that. All right, I'm gonna tie it to a stalagmite because a stalactite would probably fall down. Yes. yes. Yep. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna yeah. make sure it's nice and secure. Give it a nice tug when I do it, because Onslow is like, a big heavy man. That just stalagmite work. How about you go first? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, have I'm, a also, go. I'm also going to uh, double up by tying my rope around there as well. Okay. And then uh, basically attaching the grappling hook end of Eli's uh, Eloy's grappling hook and give it a nice toss back across so that they can hook that to something to kind of create a makeshift rope bridge. Yep. All right. Do I need a roll? Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to need to secure the ropes well, to something on well, that Well, he, he could secure it to, like, right now Onslow's got it. And okay. That would just, if we if we continue with this, it would rely on Onslow's rolls. All right. All right. I mean, oh. unless you can find something to secure it to. I mean, Onslow's going to have to get across eventually. Yeah. Yeah, Onslow kind of is, like, also weirded out by, there was a bridge here. Hmm. There was a bridge here? There was a bridge here. Okay, well, time. now there isn't. Hmm. Yeah, can I just roll an investigation or a perception and try and find something to to anchor this to? Because I'm go not, for it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Eight. Really soft and smooth stones. Uh, this door that we were by—it's just a solid metal door, right? Yep. What about the window frame? The window frame? It wasn't really a window; it was a hole. Ah, just a hole. It was just a metal hole. It was just a hole in the metal. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. If the door is on on hinges, could I like loop the rope around the hinges a couple of times and you could do like, that through it's the crack between you, the door and the wall? You can do that. Just be prepared that these rolls might not be some disadvantage rolls. Hmm. Well, I I relay that idea to Onslow for when he crosses, but for as long as he's on this side, I trust his jaws more than that. We can always drag Kev, or we can always drag drag Trunky out here and just <laughs> tie it to him. He's heavy. <laughs> Of course, he's heavy, so it'd be difficult. I'm just gonna let you guys do it. I'm on this side. <laughs> I can't even make a 10 foot running jump to make it back across. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's an acrobatics roll, I've got pretty good acrobatics. Well, of your choice. Okay. So if you're if you're gonna rely on speed, it's acrobatics. Rely on strength, it's gonna be athletics. Right. In that case, definitely acrobatics. All right. I'll give it a little good old donkey gallop. I'll give it a try. Perfect. Donated by a generous fan. Hey. Uh, it's a 19. You make it across, no problem. Okay. All right. Let's see how I do. Acrobatics. Well, I mean, you're you're walking across the ropes, right? So, and that's almost always going to be acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, 17. 17. You're fine. Yay! Now Onslow's turn. All right. He doesn't get the ropes. He's been holding them. I mean, he could always just drop down and we can pull him up. Swing across. Let's, let's call that plan B. <laughs> he's he's a big boy. I mean, I know there's three of us, but... You watch as he fucking, like, walks the other way into the darkness. What? Hey! Where are you, where are you going? <laughs> Look out for my leap! Clears it. Woo! Boom! Hooray! All right. So we've all made it across. Hopefully whatever was in that however, ruined room. <laughs> fucking Ezra is dabbing. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to hold this up to the camera real quick. Sure, why not? Center. No light. That, I was going to say with no light, oh, that might be yeah. tough. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> take our word for well, it. The the character's dabbing. We'll we'll take a real good close up cell phone picture of that later and and post it. <laughs> All right. So Onslow made his jump across. However, you watch as the water like ripples. Like this whole place kind of shook at just a giant <laughs> al like, alligator man just jumping across. Uh, there are sturge nests in that water. Drums in the deep. <laughs> And unfortunately, a couple of them have been stirred because of that. Roll initiative. Oh, good. My favorites. Fifteen. Uh, d -d 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 eighteen. 
12. Oof, Onslow, my friend. <laughs> He's a big gator, man. He just made a jump. He's a little winded. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> It's okay. These sturges aren't popping fresh either. So you were 15. 18. 18. Okay. So okay. So out of the water, three sturges kind of just like crawl out of like little pipes that come up from the water. And when I mean pipes, I mean like, you know, the like nest. Like little, little nest holes. Yeah. So th these look like young ones. They don't look like adults. Alrighty. So let me uh, go ahead and put down little pegs. To little markers for are. our Sturge boys friends. here. Yep. There. There. And right there. So they're like in the water. Yes, they are in the water. Right, and I, I did sort of just kind of like lay, layer us around like this. Uh, I didn't really put any thought, thought into where we, where we were going to be standing. But I guess that's fine because we weren't really thinking about it yeah. anyway. Just, going to, just remember. At least adjust people and you know what? I am, going to, I am going to put this here so at least everyone knows where it is from now. Oh, the hole. That's the hole. A little 10 foot hole? Yep. Ten foot? No, you don't know what's down. You don't know how. Well, far no, down. ten foot ten across. Foot across. Oh, ten yeah. foot across. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm up first. Yep. Right, let's see. I will stand here and hold my action. All righty. Hmm. Grant. Um. Dab your way to victory. Yeah, exactly. Um, Wake's not in my way if I uh, ready my crossbow, is he? <laughs> no, you, you only roll that if you're firing into melee. Okay, all right. Like if I'm fighting something and you're trying to shoot at what I'm fighting. Cool. Then I am going to take aim at one of these babies. Like which which one? The me. one in the middle? or? Um... Yeah, let's go for the middle one. Gonna shoot the middle one? Go yeah. for it. Ooh. Nat 20! Well, that hits. Hey, hey. All right, and then my damage for it is all kinds of crazy. 1d8 plus my dex, right? Yep. That's finesse. Yep, yeah, 1d8 so times 2 plus dex. Okay. Hey. So 14, uh, 17 altogether. You see its head kind of like try to climb out, and you take the whole head off, and it just Swack. the body slumps back in. Swack! So he's gone. I just like to imagine like the head's just pinned to the wall now. Yep, the head is. <laughs> the head is now pinned to the back of the wall, and a piranha tries to jump up and grab at it. <laughs> hey, 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 my friends! You killed it. All right. I would hope so if he took its head clean off. Take that fucking. Sturge. I don't know. Things have survived some pretty weird shit. Yeah, it's Ben, fair. you're up. Hey, you dumb mosquito bug monster. We just killed a whole bunch of you outside and your friend right there. You better crawl right back down into that hole. Beek, Vicious beek, mockery. Beek, beek, beek. Which one? Uh, oh, the one in the middle's gone. Yeah, the oh, one the one in the middle's gone. Yeah, gotcha. the one in the middle is the one I killed. Yeah. Right, All so this guy's still here. I'll go with the one on the left then. Um, so it could say wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. Versus DC 13. It's going to fail it. All right. It takes 1d4 damage. Uh, which will be three, and it gets disadvantage on its next attack. Alrighty. Uh, number one gets to go, which is the one he just didn't hit. So he's gonna. This guy. Yep, that guy. He's gonna fly on up to the closest one to him. All right. Uh, as soon as he gets in my range, I'm going to attack him. Roll the hit. Both with, uh, I'm guessing, an attack of opportunity and my held action. Uh, attack of opportunity only happens when. Uh, it flies into a threatened space. Yes, that's true. So, go ahead. All right, so, attack of opportunity, that's a uh, 10, 14 to hit. That misses. All hmm. right, well, here's the held action. 
That is a 22 to hit. I'm going that to... That will hit. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is with the Spear. That is uh, seven damage. Okay. And then my follow-up melee attack as a bonus action. That is 13, 14, 15. That will miss. Tricky little bastards. All right. All right. <laughs> all right so, but he, he did take minus seven, yeah? Yeah. All righty. So that one's at minus seven. The other one's... Rolling disadvantages. All right, so he can do whatever he wants. All right, Onslow's turn. Oh, well, it's still its turn. Oh, it's his turn, right. Yeah. So that is Eloy. He's trying to take a bite out of. Oh, man, I should have insulted you. <laughs> Does a 15 hit? Uh, I have AC 15, so if we've been doing tie goes to the defender, it Although, does not. Although, uh, it, it's actually like, we, we did read through the rules, and it's, uh, you have to meet AC to hit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, he's hit. That, so that, is, that, that is the rule by yeah. the book, and... Yeah, if that's if that's what we're going with from now on, then yeah, yeah. he would hit. I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's consistent from this point, like, whatevs. Yeah. yeah. I, see, I just noticed a lot of comments last time, it's like, you meet AC and you hit, so... Just want to make sure that we're house rules, though. Yeah, we're we're just making sure that we're at least, yeah. Still though. <gasps> Whatever. Going forward, it'll it'll, it'll make it easier on us too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as long as we all know what the rule is, and that's fine. All right. So match hits then. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So it gets him. Alrighty. So he. So you're rolling a d20 for damage, motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's a real <laughs> strong start. All right. Well, you take. Three points of damage and roll a con save with disadvantage. All right. Actually, no. Wait. You. Yeah, he healed, healed himself. You he healed yourself from that. I was just like, wait a minute. Did he? Uh, no. He yeah, did. he healed himself. Good. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. You pass it. Okay. You felt that welt boiling up inside of you when he like dug his little needle into your chest, <laughs> but you were just like, no, stop, get out of there. <laughs> Ew. You. So you take uh, yep, three points of damage. Three damage. All right. But his, his his little butt is now filled with blood. <laughs> That's my blood. I need that. All right. Uh, and now it's the one with disadvantage's turn. He's going to buzz on up to you. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Since he's engaging me, no attack of opportunity. Does a 14 hit? No. Nah. No, it does I, not. I, I slap its little proboscis out of the way. Back up the list. All right, I'm an attack dude that's attacking me. Did, uh, did Onslow go? Oh, wait, no, he is not. Oh, he is not. Mm. Okay, well, he's going to go ahead and... Is he going to blunderbuss all of us in this <laughs> tiny just, 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 just sets his blunderbuss on Eloy's shoulder. Don't move. <laughs> kind of, that was exactly what I was thinking oh. about doing. <laughs> hey. I mean, he is behind him. You're just going to, like, feel the metal piece on top of your head. Don't move. On his head? Good lord. Oh, it's, it's fine. I've done this before. <laughs> it worked out just fine. <laughs> Fire. Miss completely. <laughs> Boosh! I probably should have used the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's the fucking miss completely, and, and then there's you. And Eloy, what? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, and Eloy's deaf. <laughs> Eloy gets that nice bit of tinnitus <laughs> and a ringing headache. Alrighty, uh, we're back up the list. All right, now it's me. Now I attack. Uh, as we established, that is a miss. Yeah. And then my follow-up melee. That is, I'm going to assume a hit because that's a 19. That hits. Okay. Melee! Uh, that is seven damage. And this is to the one that Eloy vicious what, what mockery. You, what, were you, what were you hitting with? Hit him with? My, my punch. Oh, you're just punching him? <laughs> yeah. Dead. <laughs> Slap. Got him. Yep, he's fucking gone. Grant, you're up. His proboscis is now an innie. Uh, I don't <laughs> really know. Proboscis is a fun word. I feel like trying to shoot again would only cause problems for Eloy. Um. I think I'm just going to kind of like retreat a bit and just give everyone else more room to do what they want to do because I feel like this crowded area is not going to be very good for me. So I dab my way out of there. 
<laughs> yeah, you shot the guy in the head. It's like, ho! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! I'm out. All right, uh, Ben, you're up. So you're gonna hold action. Uh, Grant, you're holding action. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. If anyone comes near me, I've got daggers at the ready. But yeah, in case those spiders decide to come up. Yep. I'm going to yell at that bug, you dumb bug, that's two down, one to go, and you're the one. I wouldn't want none of this if I was you. Vicious mockery. Go for it. Uh, wisdom saving throw he gets. Fail. All right. He takes uh, three damage and disadvantage on next attack. All righty. He's still up. <laughs> He's right. a really depressed Sturge. Wow. Hmm. Uh, now it's Onslow's turn. So I'm, I'm going to try this again. Just give me a sec. <laughs> yep. Try again. It's <laughs> a really fucking fast bug. He do like, <laughs> Onslow did take the shot, and it was pretty true, but this thing just Matrix just dodged <laughs> it. <laughs> just do a barrel roll. You would think it'd be a lot more heavier and hard to hit when it's filled with blood. You'd think. But no, Onslow missed, but that time it wasn't a flub. He actually took aim. <laughs> He aimed true, yep. but the bug's speed. All right, but the bug, yeah. The bug's going to sit right there, just look at all of you. He's going to move back. He's going to disengage. and then, How far? Uh, five feet uh, to, the other, uh, to the wall. Yep, he's going to actually ten feet. One more, I'm sorry. All right. There you go. He's, <sighs> he's going to go right there. And since he disengaged, that's his attack. Uh, now, hmm. Yep. He's not going to attack just yet. He just wanted that blood, and he got the fuck out of Dodge. No. He's, he's still flying there. He's looking at you guys very angrily. So, you're up. All right. Let's see. How far above the water is he? Like 10 feet. All right, so even if I was in the water, I couldn't hit him. The only ranged attack I have uses up my key, and I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to hold action, just ready my spear. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're all just looking at this thing on the wall like, <laughs> come at us. Come on. All right, so you're holding action. Fucking dare you. Grant, you're up. Uh, I will continue to hold my action where I am. Should things <laughs> Double hold action. <laughs> yeah. I've got two actions. Now. I don't know what's, how am I going to carry all these actions. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah, you better run, you dumb bug. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa, Eloy, language. God damn, I fucked that up. <laughs> Still has disadvantage, roll. Only one damage this time. Alrighty, he's still up. <laughs> How dare you! Better target. Alright. <laughs> Taking another shot. Taking another slow. shot. Hey, hey that, might do it. that one matches and hits. Hey! Good. <laughs> See, glad we Matching established that on our end too. Yep. Yeah, that's that's why I say as long as it's as long as it's consistent, it's all even for everybody. That's ten points of damage. You just watch as this thing <laughs> explodes. <laughs> just see like little wings fluttering to the ground. I told him to run. <laughs> all right. Win him a favor. Well, those are dead. <laughs> I right. still hate those things. Yeah, one of them got some of my blood this time. I mean, I got lots of blood, but I but still only so much. Speaking of blood, you notice that when you exploded that one, there's now blood caked all over the wall. And a lot of the piranhas are jumping up to try and lap at it. Snap, 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 snap. And you notice that one big one kind of came up like a shark and went back under. <laughs> shark. Oh. Uh, big boy in there. So, that was good that none of you stepped in the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, shall we carry on? I guess Makes so. sense to me. All yeah. right. Just going to make our way down this hallway here. All righty. Who's taking lead? Uh, I have dark vision. So you have dark vision. You're if... you're a pretty good scout, so I I I will volunteer. I will say, like the fact that it's a narrow hallway concerns me, but. <laughs> well, hey. Yeah. I'm... Is there is there room for two of us to pass each other? Should the need arise? No. Uncomfortably. Mm. If that. 
No, I'm definitely not Onslow. I'm going to say no, especially okay. with you and Onslow. <laughs> These two may be uncomfortably so. You two, no fucking way. We could maybe climb over you. <laughs> Onslow is just taking up the whole fucking hallway. Yeah, on Onslow can take up the rear, can I think. Can I do perception to see if there's anything in this hallway that might be dangerous? Roll perception. You, you can be at the end of the hallway staring down. Uh, great. Uh, eight. Don't you have a hooded lantern that uh, can, like, spotlight things? Uh, I do. Oh, so you have the hooded lantern. You roll an eight? Yes. It's just the hallway, Captain. You don't see anything. Damn it. <laughs> I'll you know, go ahead and shine that lantern down the hallway, see if I can see anything he may or may not have missed. Go for it. Uh, that would be a nine. I'll peer along with them. <laughs> There's no reason for me yeah. not to. You have a you have a lantern. Roll again for advantage. All right. Hey. Yeah, uh, that is much better. better. That's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. There are little silken globes hanging all over the hallway. I like the idea that Ezra's the scout, and I'm just like, nope, looks safe to me, and Eloy's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> well, about them, they're... <laughs> like, oh, I I'm gonna roll those. a survival check, because I assume I know what they are. That would be nature. To know what kind of organic creature, like, substance is oh, in the wild. Fair Fair enough. These all spider yeah, things. I'll, I'll that's that. what I'm assuming. Start, start uh, right too. Modified 20. Those are spider eggs. Yeah. I was like, yeah, those are spider eggs. Those there. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure those are the sun. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks safe to me. I think we can eat them. <laughs> I mean, you know what? You're, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> They're cave, but cave fruit. <laughs> you know, you know what? I'll, I'll trust Wake on this one. <laughs> cave fruit. Cave fruit. Okay, so we have a bunch of uh, spider nests just kind of dangling. You just got eggs, eggs all along the hallway. Oh, mm. boy. How hard does it look to, like, pick our way through these without disturbing them? That would require some acrobatics. Mm, I mean, I am I'm really pretty good. acrobatic. They are fucking just, like, jutted out. Like, you can see them, and, like, you know how you have, like, half the room? They eclipse one entire side of a room sticking out of the wall. All mm. right, so we'll have to go through these one at a time. There's Onslow just like. Got any plans, Onslow? I mean, we can light them on fire. Yeah. That was out my torch. I was thinking that. Yeah, like Onslow's just like, why don't we just set them on fire? I, I Probably because like that's gonna piss off whatever laid them. Yeah, but that's the, <laughs> that's part of the fun. I, Onslow, you little thrill seeker, you. I, I'm thinking we're gonna wind up pissing it off anyway, and if so, I would rather face it by <laughs> itself than it and all its children's. Fair enough. I just, I, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the lead. I'm impressed, Eloy. I wasn't expecting you to be a fan of infanticide. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to. I, uh, I mean, as far as we know, these are not people spiders. These are just <laughs> dumb animal spiders, right? Fair enough. I Let's mean, go <laughs> lean back and reach out the torch to the spider eggs there. All right. Well. And then as soon as the first, I did this in the wrong order. I should have started from the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. The entire fucking hallway takes light. Boom! <laughs> hey, wow! Well, we can it, see. It takes a few. It takes a few minutes, but now there's the whole cave <laughs> smells of fucking burning flesh, burning silk, and smoke is rising. Everyone, roll a con save. Uh, I figured. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna like raise my little bandana. To try to filter out some of it. You got 18. Uh, that's a 11. I got a 10. All right, so Onslow, who you can't realize is just sitting there taking it in like a champ. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Incense. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Yeah, he's just breathing it in. You're taking it like a champ. You two are choking hard on this stuff. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna have to roll you guys 1d6 suffocation damage. That's six points of damage. Motherfucker. Holy shit! Smells like my daddy's giant ziggurat. That's a callback, kids. All right. Well, uh, this stuff is still burning pretty well, so I'm gonna have to roll this shit again. Roll me con again, boys. Slightly less good. Uh, that is a 12 this time, at least. 12 for me as well. 13 for me. Everyone except Onslow's taking suffocation damage. Ugh. 
Onslow is just fucking sitting there taking all of this. He loves the smell of burning babies. Three points of damage. God damn. I'm gonna see if I can like back out of this hallway at this point and to where the air is a little clearer. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swig from one of my healing potions. What's that? Two D four. You're you're just drowning yourself. You're you're not breathing. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, but I'm taking damage. Okay. Damage. Two D four plus two if it's a standard yeah, healing 2D, potion. Yeah, two D four plus two if it's standard. Let's see. Two. Four. So wait. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, it's like when you're coughing, your throat hurts real bad. You take a drink. Mm. Yeah, my throat's my throat's all dry and smoky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so most of this stuff, you, you're starting to see the spiders start to just like <laughs> just hit the floor now. Like you're watching as stuff's turning to ash and everything. It's all clearing up, but you're still gonna take one more roll at this. Oh, jeez. Bad news bears for me. Oh, finally. Eight. See? Clearing my throat is all I needed. Yep. Eleven. As in, that's a 19. Eight. Every, everyone except you. Uh, oh, even Onslow's taking it on this yeah. one? Yeah. Hey, he got a bad whiff this time. He got a bad whiff of this stuff. So, we're everyone except for Wake is taking one point of suffocation. Oh, yeah, damage. now it's the lowest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> Wait, I don't think, uh, I mean, it hurts, but it's I, I better. Think, think you're exaggerating. It didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> Fellas, you want to actually start to like it. <laughs> Fellas, you want to back out for a hot second, maybe take a breather, take a short rest before we go on? <laughs> I could use it. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm not in a huge hurry. I mean, I'm not sure exactly where we're backing out to. We're just going to be sitting by that lake with the piranhas. I mean, that's better than this smoky tunnel is what I'm saying. I'm saying there's probably smoke there, too. It's a cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you put Onslow in the back. Yeah. No. Onslow, like, right. instinctively just, like, feels something nibble at his tail, and he fucking, like, reaches forward and grabs whatever's there and throws it in front of him. Slam! So oh, between man. him and Eloy, then. Oh, uh -oh. my God! <laughs> no short rest. Got it. <laughs> Roll initiative. That's a big spider. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny! <laughs> hey! I got a... Fuck! Oh, oh, good. I got one, too. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as critical initiative. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no such thing as critical initiative failure with mine at one. Uh, I'm at 14. 14? Alrighty. Five. Let me uh, just quickly do this. Sure. So, 23, I guess. No, that does. That is true. It is 23, so. 23. You're 14. You're five. five. Let me roll for Onslow. 16. Boy, after DMing for one session, I have so much more sympathy from for getting uh, getting shouted three different rolls yeah. at once and losing for, yeah, track. For, yeah, for keeping <laughs> things in order and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now for the spoders. Those are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good rolls. All right, Grant, you're up first. All right. Um, could I, I have a flask of oil, I am going to, could I like douse a crossbow bolt in oil? Yes. And then light it to shoot it, would that take two if, turns? If you stand still, I'll allow it. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I take aim at the... Am I firing through someone? Oh, shoot. You can fire is... past me. Okay. As long as I'm not Yeah, you're not, you're not meleeing him, so I keep yeah. getting that mixed up. And All this right. time, I'm keeping my eye out for you. If I hear a crossbow bolt going off, <laughs> I'm ready to catch the fucking crossbow. Or I'm ready to catch the bolt. All and right. The neck? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, have, I have deflect <laughs> missile. Yeah. All right. Uh, Which I didn't play last time because there's no reason for me to expect him to shoot it's me. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy, my friend. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to take aim at the big boy in front of us with my burning crossbow bolt. 
of Fyah. justice. Uh, 15. That matches. All right. All right. See? Working now, to our advantage. Now, one second here. Where are my die? Where's my dice? Yeah, they are. Got to roll my secret die real quick. And I'm guessing this isn't a sneak attack, right? No. Okay. Unless I, she doesn't see you I was, was going to say, I feel, I, feel like I, I feel like I was told that I didn't know the parameters of sneak attack, and I wasn't using it as much as I could. So I thought sneak, I'd... A sneak attack is if it is engaged with somebody else and you're attacking from a different okay. angle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Plus, also, if you roll or if, a... or if it doesn't know that you're there. Yeah, if you roll a sneak, mm. like, if you roll a sneak now, like, your next attack, it won't notice you. Okay, gotcha. The entire hallway is set ablaze once again. <laughs> Yeah, but I got I got the spider with it though, so it's on fire. Yeah, you got the spider with it, and now I gotta roll fucking explosion damage for all this shit. <laughs> because you shot the bolt, but there was something else there. Is this, uh -oh. uh, is this a reflex save? Uh, for the both of you, yes. Roll, uh, roll dex, roll dexterity, saving throws. Oof. Hey, nat twenty. Well, I think let's see, that is sixteen. Yeah. Uh, what you don't know is that you hear an explosion. Were there was like, probably dynamite. I was gonna say, were they end. nesting on fucking dynamite? Because that's amazing. They were nesting on dynamite. I feel like that would have triggered when we <laughs> set the things on fire. But okay. Jesus. <laughs> so you just hear what the? <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> What's that sizzling? <laughs> <laughs> and you you catch him. You're just like, I catch the spider. No, you catch him. Oh, okay. So I mean, you, I, I I I try to dodge out of the way. Yeah, you not you got knocked back with him. <laughs> so let's see the really brunt. Helped. Really hope that spider doesn't survive fucking dynamite going on. Yeah, well that's why I'm roll I'm rolling the damage for him, but then I gotta roll the damage for him because he took a good chunk of it too. Oh good. <laughs> what is it with you? Every, every time, time you fire the crossbow! <laughs> I'm sorry, Wake, but I at least blew the fuck out of that spider. Maybe. I hope. We assume it's dynamite. Yeah, no, it's gone. Alright, good. <laughs> that spider's There's limbs go everywhere. That How much spider's gone. But I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm taking half away for you. Yeah, I'm taking half damage because I'm guessing the roll. Yeah, but that was uh 24 damage. What? At half? No, no, that was 24. Oh, so okay, so I'm 12. taking 12. You're taking 12. Shoot, even so. Just say I'd be unconscious. Insane. Huh? So yeah, I got burns on me. I'm just looking at you like, why? <laughs> Why? I killed the spider, didn't I? Good fucking job! Half of our problem is solved! Oslo's turn. Give me a healing <laughs> potion, you owe me! Oslo kind of just like nuzzles. He knocked him prone, actually, taking him with a somersault. So he just <laughs> knocks the fucking blunderbuss on top of it and shoots at the gut. Do you have a healing potion to give me? I think I did. Yeah, that's a hit. I might have used it. I, I can get you some healing once it comes around to my turn. Okay. That was an eight. Yes, eight, I do nine. have a potion of healing. I had one left, so okay. I, I eight, hand 13, it to you. 14. So that's 14 points of damage. That spider's still there, but there's a giant gaping hole. It's still trying to wriggle itself up. All right, uh, Lenny, you're up. I'm drinking that fucking healing potion. By all means, friend. Two. One. So that's five. Okay, I feel my I feel mildly better. Uh, is that it for you? Uh, let's see. That's my movement action, correct? Yeah, that that was your. You can do like you have two. You have yeah, movement and offhand. So you can use you used an action. You can now move. All right. Uh, let's see. Except getting through people will require rolls. So yeah, I, I I use I think I use my movement to stand back up actually since that okay. probably knocked me prone. Fair enough. Uh, all right, so that was Spider One, Spider's Two turn. He's gonna get up. <laughs> He's gonna try to hit Onslow. No dice. It is it is so fucking like just it tried to get that sneak attack but it failed miserably. <laughs> all right, Ben, you're up. Uh, how how bad off are you still? Uh, wake. <laughs> Not great, but finishing off that spider is probably more important. Okay. <laughs> like, I will live. I'm updating my character sheet. I have a fear of bugs after all the <laughs> shit we've gone through. <laughs> so that's why I'll just take extreme measures when bugs are involved. <laughs> hey, you dumb spider. We just blowed up your friend. We're about to blow you up, too. 
Vicious mockery. He gets a wisdom save. How much damage do you do? Uh, 1d4 if he fails his save. Fail. All right. That's uh, four damage. <laughs> I, dead. I scared him so bad he's playing dead. This he is great, you guys. He feels real bad about this. He feels <laughs> real bad about himself. <laughs> he just saw his friend go up in a blaze of glory. So. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd play dead too after that. And all the kids too. <laughs> glory is not how I'd call it, Demolition Man. There you go. It, it the, solved the, the problem. Spiders are gone. <laughs> Onslow is now... Uh, hold on. I'm the worst sneaky rogue. I'm going to set myself up with explosive arrows at any chance I get. <laughs> Onslow is now taking this time to carve into his kill and harvest it. Ah. Spider meat, uh, you know, good. Onslow's good not really digest. getting all that much because he kind of blew out the insides, but he is getting some of, like, the flesh. Is, uh, does that constitute enough time for me to play a song of rest for everybody? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Is that a short rest? Yeah. yeah, we're taking a short rest then. Okay. Give me that so fucking D8. Yep. Plus your D10. Yep. Plus the D6. Oh, plus the D6. Yeah, that's what my song of rest does. Five plus con. Five plus con. Hey, I heal myself back up the floor. Get rid of that four damage. Plus con. One day I'll see full health again. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Well, there was dynamite there. I was going to say, we had a tunnel apparently lined with dynamite. Sorry. <laughs> this is what it looks like. We just opened the hallway a little wider. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a way back. I'm down with that. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just still wiping the soot off my face. <laughs> Wait, in some cultures, that's very insensitive. Not mine. <laughs> well, there you go, boys. Now what do you do? <laughs> well, we've rested. We're just gonna continue down this hallway that I've, uh, I guess, widened for us. <laughs> yeah. Now that we can move, <laughs> I'm gonna see what's at the end of this hallway here. Uh, it leads into a very oddly shaped, elongated cave. Looking on the left and the right side, there are more eggs. Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell you what. This time, this time, can we can we just set them on fire real quick? And then, and then run back through this new passage into the into the big big room where there's fresh air and just wait for it to burn out. Is that a good plan? Sure. I toss my torch into the egg patch. <laughs> Which one? Is the left side and the right side? Uh, the one that I can more easily see. The uh, the, the one on the left. Be on the left. All right. So you set that on fire. Yeah. And then we head back. Out uh, this way, I think. You're gonna head over there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where everybody's heading. Yeah. Yeah. And just. Just wait out here. Yeah, wait to yeah. see if we can like peer out yeah. and and wait for the smoke to clear. Right, so how long are you guys gonna wait? Uh, once the smoke starts to wisp out, uh, from that far in, you cannot tell if the smoke is coming out or not. Oh, well, can we proceed carefully in there until we start smelling smoke to check if it's safe? Uh, you can smell smoke just as soon as you're about to enter it. Hmm. It seems that the smoke is escaping from the other exit. Mm. Ah, there was another door there. Would have been really nice if it flowed that way the first time! <laughs> Maybe it was. Um. Ah, oh, never mind. I guess I don't have some. I thought I had something that I could use as like a mask, but it doesn't look like it. So, I mean, I, I mean, I have like a bandana that I put over my face. That didn't work. <laughs> so who was out in front? Me. All right, roll me a reflex. Some angry burning spiders. Nat 20. Nat 20, yep. You you see a bunch of, a swarm of little little spiders that are on fire come out. I just flip out of their way, or what? what what's my <laughs> reflex here? You pretty much just step back. Oh, they, okay. Yeah, you just like step back as... Well, 
they're dying. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> We're pretty deep in, and I feel like we <laughs> feel like other than uh, the thing we found in that one bottle, I feel like we've just been seeing spiders in here. Are we sure this is the right cave? Positive the man boss in here? Pretty positive, son. All I mean, right. Your people hunt this stuff all the time, right? Uh, here's a fun fact is, uh, when you watch the spider turn into ash, it, oh, it melts away. Does man mall take the form of spiders? It melted into, it melted away, but then it became a pool of red liquid that was undulating for the, a brief second. Onslow, I'm guessing you've been here before. Have you ever seen something like that? Not at all. Well... Not something quite like that, but the I'm sure... The spider you harvested didn't No, the spider I harvested that. didn't do that. It, he's like, did it? He goes to reach in. It's red goop. Kevin, do you know what this stuff is? <laughs> I don't know. You got a weapon to feed him? I mean, I've got my other short sword. I have a dagger. Just a simple dagger. I'll probably I have, get it. I Keep been that using. peasant food away from me. Ah. Uh. Oh, mister, I got a taste for things now. Oh, 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 come on there, Kevin. Now, I just gave you a whole short sword before. This is like a, this is like a little dessert. I, I asked for food that was on fire. I only got half of that. I mean, I can, we can, we can pour some lantern oil on it and light it on fire. We can, we can try that for you. Yeah, let's do it. Here's my dagger. food. Okay. Are All you right, gonna, so we feed him a flaming dagger? <laughs> you feed him a flaming dagger? Yeah. I'm removing the dagger from my inventory. <laughs> I'll let you hang on to my short sword for a while so you have something. Well, I, I have my plus one dagger. Oh, okay. Yep, that was, so that you was just, my old he dagger. devoured it. So what was the question you were going to ask him? Have you... do <laughs> The red goop. Do you recognize this? Do I recognize the red goop? Yeah, specifically spiders that turn into red goop. From what I can understand, or of what I can hazard a guess, is that they were either ingesting it and feeding it to the kids, or... They, the slime is nearby. Okay, so the spiders have been consuming this slime, and so when their body burned away, it's just what was left, you think? Yes. Well, I have another nest to burn. <laughs> <laughs> you have another nest to burn, but you look down the hole, you look down where the other nest was. Uh huh. Almost looks like there's some kind of pathway that leads out. Hey, I got an idea. You got that empty glass bottle what that healing potion was in, right? Yeah. What if you, like, slapped it down over one of the eggs and, like, scooped up one of the spiders up inside it, one of the little babies? And we could, like, poke at it and try and learn something. I mean, I could use a jar for that. I mean, the, the bottle is probably, like, too thin. Right? Yeah. If you killed it and then put it inside of it, maybe. Yeah. That'd be like a ship in a bottle scenario. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any like little spiders that are still alive? Probably not. Not uh, that. <laughs> not that whole patch you just burnt. But like I said, you do notice. I do notice. What almost looks like a pathway that leads out this way. Another pathway that leads that way. Okay. All right. So we'll ex- we'll explore out that way. See see what that path's like. I, I assume I have people covering my back. Well, is that into the spider nest that we haven't burned yet? That's the spider nest you did burn. Yeah, okay. that's the one oh, I burned. Okay. Well, then, yeah, we can start heading that direction. Yeah, sure. And there's also that other little traily dude that's there. But then we'd have to flip the map. All right. Yeah. Uh, so exploring that way, what 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 do I see as I roll get towards perception. the... Okay. Yeah, roll... Oh, well... 20. Uh, not modified to one. Modified I guess, 20. I guess you're taking the lead then because you peer yeah, down. Yeah, he's ahead. You peer down. Uh, they're starting to look like they're slime down here. Like, you can see the walls is starting to goop up a little bit. I think oh, we're getting closer, great. fellas. What color is the slime? What color is the slime? What color is the slime? I have night vision, so you know. I it's sh- red. Beware red of slime. the monster it sleeps. And dreams, but it and kind of like, slides like some of it, it looks like it's a mixture of colors. It's not pure red. It looks like some kind of muddled red. You got a dr- uh, Technicolor dream slime here <laughs> with some kind of like a foggy, like a muddled red. Not the 
So is it not the like pure red that we've seen? It's from not the, other the ones? pure red you've been seeing so far. This this seems like a, a murkier red than the other goops we've been we've been looking at. I'm going to do a survival check and like get like a sniff of this stuff. Alrighty. That is a seventeen. Like do like uh, specifically, I'm trying to see if it like smells coppery, like if it's just like blood smelly or if it smells alkali. It smells like blood. Uh, like I I, I rolled a seventeen. You it, you can it, describe the scent to me. It smells like mildew. Mmm. Rot. Mm. It smells like mildew and, oddly enough, grapes. So the so wine? It's, it's a wine slime. Dude, you the wine slime. I've been, I've been thinking blood. What if the slime was just drinking all that wine? Maybe, Maybe it's, it's a nice slime. Maybe it's <laughs> drunk. Mr. Onslow Green, you, 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 you hunt the man, Maul. How do you kill it? You want to you wanna take point on this one? or What should we do, this sir? This is the trophy you're looking for. We assume. Yeah, Onslow's taking front. He's just kind of... He's never been this way. That's the thing. Uh. Onslow, would you like my hooded lantern that I forgot I had? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. Onslow <laughs> takes it. He'll take point and go up front. All right. Just pretend we're all filed in behind him. Yep. Yeah. I'll take up the rear in case we get ambushed. All right. As you're walking in, you're all noticing that there's just barrels of wine and this slime all across the walls. You found a wine cellar. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so the, the wine is, like, covered in slime? Yeah, the okay. wine is covered in slime, and, like, slime is, like, kind of, like, seeping out of it a little bit. So, okay. like, the slime is coming out from the barrels. I was gonna reach for it, mm. but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Nothing seems to... Yeah, but Oslo's just, like, this just seems like they've been drinking the wine. I don't understand, like, what... The bigger picture. Man, Ma's a teetotaler. What's this about? But here's the thing: is that Anso's like they've never been this red before. The ones I've always hunted were always green, and they're further deeper in. Huh. They've never come out this far. We've never seen red before. They're only just showing up now. Huh. So it well, only just got to the wine cellar since the last time you've been here. Is what it sounds like. It sounds like it, that's what it sounds like. You know, you've also had a lot of weird stuff going around in town before this. There could be a lot of things at play at the moment. Well, remember, I mean, we we like we heard talk about somebody doing magical experiments around here. Yeah, it's probably connected somehow. Could the I wine be enchanted? How. It's possible that these slimes are just reacting adversely to the experiments that are going on, or perhaps since of all the commotion that Kevin here heard. Maybe somebody was in here doing experiments on the slime itself. Maybe. But you are like you like as you walk in, like you're you're now just seeing it's like all wine. The, the slime's not even bothering you. It's more just worried about getting into the wine uh, crate, into the wine barrels. However, going in deeper, I'm going to puncture one of the wine barrels. Oh, are you? Okay, yeah. go for it. Roll uh, roll me athletics. Athletics. Yeah. Stabbing it with my spear. Uh, that would be a ten. You kind of stab just at the, into the yeah. wood. And <laughs> you stab at it. The goop is kind of just like, oh, oh, what the fuck you're doing? And like, you pull it out, and the goop kind of like just stays in place. Yeah, the goop stays in place, and no wine rushes out. No, ru no uh, wine okay, rushes so out. The, oh, the so, one you stabbed anyway. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the slime has already gotten in there and consumed all the wine. Yeah. Okay. Drunk slime. <laughs> However, like I was uh, saying before, the more you go in, like, you get the smell of wine, that's fine, but the mildew smell is getting stronger the more you step further in. Hmm. Just gonna warn everybody, these things seem like they've been consuming copious amounts of alcohol. That might make them extra flammable, so uh, in the future, I may have a plan. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm in the back for this That's now. why I'm warning everybody. If I yell spread out, you know I mean it. Onslow likes what you were doing before, and he's like, he's not okay with that smell that's going on. So yeah. now he takes a shot at pulling open one of the wine bottle, uh, one of the wine barrels. He pulls the cork off. He just goes, Bunk. no, he can't. The slime's too slippery. To, yeah, the slime's too slippery to grab a firm uh, take on it. I have right, a crowbar think, and hammer. 
I'm you... gonna keep attempting to like puncture more of these barrels. All right, go for it. Just gonna... Do you want to give it a try? Uh, sure. Roll Let's with see. advantage. Uh, that is for athletics. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. All right, you actually break open one of them. Tunk. I have my best one was five. Your best one was five. All right, you open one of them. <laughs> Even with a crowbar, I can't. Something do this. slides out of it now. It looks familiar. Is it a head? No, it's a tumor. Oh. Are they growing these? I scoop one up into a. I'm just using the jar. Just Don't gonna... touch it with your hands. Sink. And just cork it. Not touching it with my hands this time since I've learned now that these things kind of reach into your soul and fuck with you. Yeah. So, yeah, you have just found a fermented tumor. Fermented tumor <laughs> in a jar. <laughs> I, I am just sounds, collecting these. Everything about that sounds I'm going to name it Pickle Rick. <laughs> Why did you say that? Your chat's going to explode now. <laughs> tumor. And the slime didn't take too kindly to that. It's kind of, as soon as you go to grab it and jar it up, whatever slime that was coming down from the fermented tumor, it's starting to feel like it's burning. Like it's trying to digest your flesh. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. So they're not gonna... here for the wine. They're here for that. Ah. Well, it's mine now. Run! <laughs> <laughs> well, you only found the one. Yeah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I'm going to join in I'm and try I'm just taking this as evidence, really. I don't really... <laughs> like, I, I, I pocketed it away in a nice cushioned section of my pack. All right. I uh, keep my eye out for so, creeping slime. what else do you do while you're in here, then? Well, what else? Like, is that is that it to this hallway? Well, no, there's still more down going forward. Well, I guess we continue yeah, I forward. Think we're just gonna keep right, continuing yeah. forward, damning ourselves further. <laughs> Magnus rushes in. Ah, more barrels. These are big ones. Big, big old barrels. barrels. These are bigger than Onslow. They actually reach up to twelve feet high. 12-foot-tall wow. barrels. Oh. They're massive. And it looks like uh, someone carved into them to make a makeshift shaft to open them. Are these also coated in, like, slime? Yeah, they're all coated in slime. Getting to the barrel, like, you can see it. You can visibly see the cut. Mm -hmm. But getting to it, that's another story, because this stuff is through like caked a layer. in slime. That is Getting a little creepy. Uh, and as you get closer to it, you can see that the slime is way more red. Like, this is pure red now. This is crimson slime. Well, Onslo, you're the one up front. You want to try and open one of those? Or? I was going to say, Onslo, this looks like uh, your territory. Just pulls out his gun. I mean, if you just want to do that, you might damage whatever's I inside. Say, I, 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 I might step this back. Is what, this is what he came for. He's going to do what he does best. I, I stand back and uh, brace myself should anything happen. I keep yeah. my eyes behind us in case anything comes up from behind. All right, he shoots. Yeah, he shoots. That he scores. Yeah, no, he shoots and he scores. The fucking barrel, like, pushes in, and then everything goops out. Oh, this was... There are there are more ratmen corpses coming out with the slime, and oh, they have, God. they got tumors all over them. Oh God! Oh, I think my blood theory and my wine theory were not mutually exclusive, you guys. <laughs> Oh, well, God, this is a good Halloween episode, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what, what's How back many, there? <laughs> How many of those jars we got? It seems like a good time to mention that Deimos I had told you. me that this cave would not end where we thought it would. So uh, keep your eyes out for a levy, uh, pulley or a lever, because uh, he had told us that we'd find rat boys for support and then be look for an, look for an extra exit. I think this might have been the help we were probably going to find. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Onslow comes. Onslow just turns around, and just goes. There's more rap boys being fermented in these kegs now. Oh great! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this means anything to you boys, but this ain't the man maw. The man maw is more bitey. And if my my sport's been tainted, someone's got to pay. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it might have been whoever's been messing with these tumors. You know, like the one I got in my pack, or I turn around. Those. <laughs> yeah, uh, so when I say tumors, I mean that this thing is, like, growing on the rat folk's stomach. This thing is now, what it looks like is the tumor is all over his stomach, and it's making a face. Ah. Oh. Like, it looks like it's living. The, the tumor itself has now grown a face. The rat is dead, just like, kind of like- It's just growing off of yeah, his corpse. Yeah, it's just growing off him, and the face is like- Hi, I'm Eloy. Who are you? <laughs> Hello, uh, Mr. <laughs> the right. rat, the, like, you can see, like, part of the rat folk. Well, it's clearly dead. Mm -hmm. This thing must be puppeting it somehow, because, like, there are digits that are trying to make movement. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Yeah. I'm guessing none of us Onslow's can understand it's Gurgles. Onslow's, Onslow's not having no, any No, Onslow's not having any of this and Fuck taking this. Yeah, a preemptive strike on this shit and blows the fucking tumor. Are we standing back far enough that anything that might splatter off of it wouldn't hit us? None of it, none of it. Yeah, Onslow oh, okay. just like, Onslow just like instinctively steps back and he pushes you lot with him. <laughs> yep. I... Eloy that? approves of this course of action. <laughs> Put that poor rat thing out of its misery. I think I'm pretty no. sure it's been dead. Also, it's just like I don't know, son. I think that's been dead for a while. Well, that's whatever that's growing on it, I don't know if that has consciousness, if it's attached to its host, whatever it is. This makes me afraid for what the man mom may have gotten into. <laughs> oh, it makes you afraid. That's great. Shall we back out of here Let's slowly? Get the, yeah, no. They, okay. They should get the fuck out of there. This time I'm leading the way on the way back, I guess. All right. As we head back towards the exit, which is still there and not blocked off in any way, shape, or form, correct? Nope. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, we've got a... Uh... I was in front. Alrighty. Got some... Uh... Some friends. I mean, he can wait, make yeah, his way over to the side worry. of me. Yeah, don't worry about that because we're stuck with this thing on a little bit of a bit there. So, uh, right, so Onslow's next to me, not behind me. Yeah. No. Okay. And I'm guessing you two are just yeah, little right behind. Coming back. up behind. Uh, it hasn't noticed you. Oh. Should I do a sneak shot? Go for it. And I stand ready with my spear if it like if this does not finish. Yeah. All right. Uh, so with my sneak attack, it says plus two d six with finesse range with advantage. Does that mean my attack roll is with advantage? Your attack or? roll is with advantage. Yes. Okay. Hey. Nat twenty. No. All right. So that's gonna hit, and, and then, then, you then double your dice rolls, and then add your okay. uh, it, so add your two d six rolls. 10, and a 6, plus, uh, plus it'd be, my dex. Yeah, plus it, that's on top of the, your 1d8 for the crossbow, which itself would be doubled because you got a crit. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is going to have a bad day. <laughs> okay, so we had 16 for my d6s, and then 16 more for my d8. So 32, plus my 3 from de dexterity. So 35. Yeah, this thing was sniped. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> just kind of collapses just forward. Yeah, just, just watch it fall forward. Finally, some good <laughs> luck for good old Ezra. <laughs> and it's dead. It's dead. It's very dead. The spider was trying to carry another one of the rat folk bodies with it. Not anymore. You find a small notice attached to the rat folk's hand. I pluck it. And read it. Out loud. <laughs> You found a small page of what looked like a journal. Fifteenth, <clears throat> the rat folk here are a little too curious. Paying them off for private study lodgings is becoming more and more cost effective, and my time and resources are finite. Uh, I have I have to make a breakthrough in these experiments soon, or everything I've worked for will be in vain. The twenty-fifth. Nath's 
Nate's lot have no, have no idea what powers they toy with or what capabilities the artifacts they find could be used for apart from the ma uh, minor fiscal gain. The only ones who do are the Yon T, and returning, pe and returning pieces for profit will be f a fool's errand. I will attempt to seek out something the rat folk will deem suitable for this week's rent. To think I would be reduced to petty theft to make men's meet. But this will all be worth the aggravation and hardship, as I will watch this island sink into the ocean and return home a hero. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think we found someone with some baggage. Just a little. Not 29th. Most of the entry is unreadable, as it seems to this... Well, uh, I can't read a lot of this, because it looks like there's a bunch of drops of blood drenched on this page. Uh, I can read a little bit, though. May the darkness rot that tiefling bitch's insides out. Yeah. Curse her and curse that temple. Curse the rats. They will get what's coming to them, and then some. I will not stand for this any longer. The third. I am out of subject materials, and the rats are no longer willing to shelter me uh, and keep my secrets safe. By the end of this night, when they seek rent once more, I will have more subject materials and be done with the rent. I overheard the lizard folk of the swamp find sport in hunting slime. Perhaps this can solve my rat problem and keep my more volatile supplies incubated. Woof. And then 16th of the following month. The slimes no longer sustain my materials. However, they may prove to be a fine chance to obtain new flesh out of the lizard folk should they attempt to go off hunting again. I will have to return to this spot in the future date to, obturn, to obtain the end results. However... I will need to substitute the core catalyst as I no longer have the means to obtain it until the retrieval of the lizard folks remains. I heard the necromancer may have a certain preserved tadpole that if farmed correctly can produce more of what I desire. Looks like this guy was trying to farm your people, Onslow. Onslow was just like... <laughs> Now, see, son, this is rude. Not only for the fact that he's trying to use my people, but he tainted the hunt. <laughs> this cannot stand. I agree. That is that is the seems, number one crime that he has committed. Seems here we're in agreement on that. I don't I don't see the need to rank these crimes. He's just full of them, and I don't like this person. I, I do not want this island to sink. This is where Timothy lives. You know what? You're right. This is for Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> There's Timothy in the pumpkin patch. <laughs> Good boy. Carving a jack o' lantern <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> I make eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's poor, poor Abigail, just like, oh my fucking god, my crops are food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, a rat boy was holding this. A rat boy was holding this. Uh, okay. It was being dragged away by the spider because if you look over to where the other eggs are. There were cocooned bodies on the wall. I just find it interesting that a rat was holding it. I don't know if this guy was discovered and a rat got his journal, or if just they happened to be in the same spot. At this the rat time. probably found it as evidence and then was killed. Yeah. So, yeah. And on the rat person, you also find, uh, since his body was more intact, you find a pair of commoner's clothes, a small symbol to Deimos, probably about like the size of a nickel. And uh, oh, 50 that's his gold. people. And 50 gold. 50 this gold. place gold or 50 gold gold? 50 gold gold. Okay. Somebody feel free to take the gold. Sure. <laughs> I snag the gold. You got the kill. I'm going to actually ask if we take a quick break because I need to take a bio break. That is just that's fine. fine. You know me. what? We'll be sticking around here, though. We aren't going to be cutting away. We're trying something new where we don't cut away to breaks, but we yep. will be reading off things uh, for people as Zito goes and... Does the necessaries. Does his necessaries. Let me rattle them a little bit. <laughs> I just need the yeah. lovely little notebook there. Thank you, stagehand. Go. And yeah, you should have a Hey, look, it's me. Streamlabs tab open right there. Let's pop up Streamlabs here. Yep. See what the people have to say, and I see think what, I will. See what the lovely people have been saying here. Re-up my water, too, while you do as that. I go over to just bits and subs. There we go. All right, let's go back to a couple hours ago when we started 
down this horrible path that has led to horrific, cre horrific tumors growing off of rat people. Not a fun day for them, I assure you. Not a fun day at all. I'll be fine. All right, let's see here. We have uh, mythical own, mythical mythic zero wings. Thank you so much for the sub. Which camera am I at? I'm on that one. Awesome. All right, there we go. Uh, Fitzboy Topper Bottom. Thank you so much for the sub. Exploding Ninjor. Thank you for the sub. Criven One. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, and. Criven1, again, thank you so much for the second month resub. This one doesn't have a capital K, though. I'm not in... Oh, with Prime. Ah, okay, I see you sub two ways. Oh, I didn't even know that was possible. Well, thank you for both the subs. And let's see, I got to scroll up. Eh, don't have a mouse, so this is a little tricky. All right, Peachy Sakura, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Mercer... 196, thank you for the 500 bits saying, not going to be able to catch the stream tonight, but wanted to stop by and throw you guys some bits because you make me laugh. Can't wait uh, to catch up on the archives. Thank you so much. This thing's weird. A bunch of these are like out of order. Like I'm getting like, huh, whatever. It's probably the MacBook. So sorry if I miss any. Rosso06, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Yanso36, thank you so much for the seven month resub. Uh, Generals4, thank you so much for the sub. Zypher0090, thank you so much for the sub. Generals4, uh, yeah, I got that one. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's counting people double on here. How odd. I'm not used to this screen. That and scrolling on here is real pain in the ass. Uh, Liliac, uh, li Lilac125, thank you so much for the 10-month resub, saying, So far, this is my favorite part of the campaign. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, the Hooded Teddy, thank you so much for the 5-month resub, saying, Happy Halloween! Gonna work my last Inktober drawing as I watch, and I finish that, probably will draw whatever funny stuff happens on the stream. Awesome, look forward to seeing it. Uh, Diablo1235763, lots of numbers, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Saying, you recently inspired me as uh, to start a D&D &D campaign and a couple of my friends. I just wanted to thank you guys for everything and give you uh, give my sweet, sweet bits from Denmark. Well, thank you very much from the, from the Americas. Uh, Seda88 with 5,000 bits. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Thank you so much. Uh, saying, happy Halloween to you, pumpkins. Aw. Well, thank you so much, Seda. Uh, SPO708, thank you so much for the sub. And SPO708, thank you so much for the three month prime sub. This is weird. Like, a lot of things are doubling up. Hmm. Uh, Kylar Pierce, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Golan Frime, Dino Fossil, thank you guys so much for the uh, subs. Lines of Nines, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Saying, spiders. Yeah, there's, there's be spiders here. Uh, the Clinging Reader, thank you so much for the second month resub. Starstruck17, thank you so much for the seven month resub. Uh, Dardhar, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Doomlover9000, thank you so much for the sub. I like it. Wait, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Loafed Out, thank you so much for the 100 bits. The Grey Ghost92, thank you so much for the sub with Twitch Prime. Fox and Please, Fox and Pals, I'm guessing that is. Thank you so much for the sub. And, oop, oh, lost it. There we go. Surian, thank you so much for the four month resub saying, Hey Lanny, about to head to work. Much love. Better read this one. A certain person who won't be uh, named skipped reading my last sub. Oh no. Must have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Sarnin. Uh, Spirit Fighter 16, thank you so much for the 300 bits saying, Hey Lanny, thanks to you guys and Harmon Quest, my friends and I are planning to start our own campaign on D&D. Awesome. And if you are planning to start your own campaign on D&D, on the Team Four Star Discord, which you can find a link to, we actually have a looking for group section now. So if you're looking to play online, Discord's a great way to play it. You can use Roll20 online, and it's a great way to get into D&D. Yep. I yep. started my first D&D &D campaign on Skype years and years ago, and I've loved it ever since. Yep, yep. but Skype's old and busted. Discord's that new shit. Discord's that new hotness. <laughs> yep. yeah. So jump on the TFS Discord, 
Yep, discord.gg slash team four star. Yeah, you can find the link on our channel page and probably popping up with Nightbot. But yep. thank you guys so much. We'll be back at the end of this for a bit more. That was my 14-man campaign, actually, all done through uh, Skype. Yeah? 14-man <laughs> through uh, two years. Wow. And that was just one session. It takes a long time with big parties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this letter. Uh, we've learned a little bit about our uh, suspect, I guess. Uh, I've got a clean spider kill if Onslow wants to harvest anything from it. Yeah, Onslow's yeah, going to actually that, uh, do that. And if you guys want to do that, that's a survival check. All right, I'm going to see if I can get his poison spider. glands. Venom glands. Nope. Nope, I, I, butcher, I butcher the sack. Yeah, you just slice his throat open. It leaks. Where are it? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, Anso's gonna get a nice chunk out of it. Well, since it was your kill, he's gonna give this to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check these cocooned bodies on the wall over. He's gonna give you, uh, three feet of spider silk. Ooh. Onslow is a fair hunter. <laughs> he's not going to steal what he didn't kill. <laughs> Thank you very much, Onslow. Yeah, he much has a lot of honor it. in this hunt, which is why he's so upset about this. Uh... Oh, yeah, no, Ons you could just see, like, before Onslow was, like, normal to, like, just just happy gator smile to average gator smile, <laughs> and now there's now mad. a sizable fucking mad frown on this man's <laughs> face. There's a crocodile grimace. So, uh, you're gonna go check the bodies? Yeah, I wanna see, Please like... Please roll me three investigations. Three investigations. I'm just gonna use this. Speed it up a little. See, uh, that's a nine, a ten, and a seventeen. All right. Uh, you find probably two daggers, like one that's probably serviceable. Everything else is kind of like just all jumbled up and like grossed out. Like everything's kind of dissolved because they seemed like they had some chunks bitten out of them. They got little holes where spider links may have come out of. Right. So, well, I toss one of the daggers back to him since he fed one to our friend Kevin here. Yep. On my Thank belt. you. Found a dagger. Uh, another tiny symbol of Deimos. When we're done with this, we should probably take this back to uh... Deimos. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you also found a small key. A small key. Hey. hey. Obviously, this doesn't open up this room. Nope. <laughs> so you're gonna head on over to the next room. Yeah, that uh, little. All right, the, time the, to flip the map. The yeah, that little end. nipple space we got over here. That little map nipple. Time to flip the map, my boys. No, oh, then we got swept away by a giant. Oh no! Here we go. Oh, this place is big. Mm -hmm. Zito warned us of dungeon crawling this Where session. Yes. Got it. Ah, you fell? Right. Yeah. So, you guys are now here. I'm just gonna pretend that's a hill in the cave. <laughs> oh no, so, you guys enter a room, now Onslow's just like, this is Yeldon proper. This? This, this is the Yeldon he knows. A, this is a gaping hole. Okay. This leads into the abyss. This is all landmass. Oh, okay. Below you, if you could... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, say it yeah, again yeah, into yeah. the mic. <laughs> so, the reason why there's, like, landmass there, that's all land, whereas everything else around it, that's all darkness. That's pit. That's pit. It's Dark Pit, everyone's favorite character from Super Smash Bros. 4. Yes. <laughs> well, let's uh, try not to fall. So, what you can see all the way... You, you're on, like, an uphill. The... The path kind of like leads down. You can see that there looks like what once was a mi sort of mining operation down over on that side. There's like racks of wood and stairs that have different platforms, and there's also the barrels of the of uh, those barrels that you found before. But there's a huge chunk of slime sliding off the end because at the very end there, there's a raised bridge that leads out into a small mouth of, of a cave at the bottom there. Okay. Onslow, you seem somewhat familiar with the area. Would you like to lead the way? It'd be my pleasure, son. All right. Well, the honor is yours, my friend. This is this the trophy we seek is you know, you you have had a special attachment to it, so 
He heads over this way before you guys head over here. You get Ezra Dabbin over here. All right. Uh, would any, uh, all of you guys roll me a perception check. All right. All also, right. it's a little too occupied with the task at hand to want to do that. Perception. 21. 16. 9. <laughs> It's dark here, oh, man. It's dark, it's dark, Captain. I can't see shit for you. <laughs> and uh, Oslo, too preoccupied with what's going on. You notice, uh, you notice that there is more of those slimes, kind of just wriggling around, like they're they're actually moving now in by the crates, by the barrels. These things are actually now actively like sliding back and forth. They're not. Like, stationary, like it was back in the wine cellar. Ooh, something seems to be riling these boys up. You peer a little bit closer into one of them, and you notice they got body parts, like a human hand, or hmm. a rat's leg, and they got tumors on them. Great. Ooh, we got more tumor boys. I don't like those tumor boys. And they're inside the slimes. You know, if these things weren't going to be rare, maybe I shouldn't collect them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got one to show to anyone who you know, yeah. we need to talk to. Yeah, I'm in favor of destroying the rest of these. They're they're real creepy, like. That's fair. I can agree. Put them in a put them in a pile. Burn them. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys gonna do anything with them? Because Onslow's gonna keep on going forward. If you're not gonna, uh, we're gonna we're gonna follow. All right. I mean, unless we can. Onslow tries to make his way over there. He passes by the barrel as one of them kind of just like erupts out. It's the upper torso of a rat. <laughs> jumps at him. No, he's taking it. It pushes him off the edge. Oh, no! Wait, where, where, where is this? The box. You were right there. Right here? Re so like, ah! Yeah, it, it goes to push him off the side, and he rolled the three, so he's fa fucking falling. Oh, no! Oh, jeez, can I, uh... Um... Well, no, he grabs the ledge. Okay. But that thing is clawing onto him. It's attacking. I'm attacking it. Let me... Well, hold on. Once he's once it's done, of yep. course. I'm I'm polite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. So that was eight points of damage as this thing, like, fucking bites the back of his head and starts pulling. Oslo, no! <laughs> All right, uh, do we have a marker for it? Uh, marker? Yeah, just put a put it like right behind Onslow or in behind front of him. Yeah, it's it's hanging with him. Oh. It's trying to pull him down into the darkness. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's awful. All right, I'm going to take Guessing a Guessing Onslow still doesn't have the rope. <laughs> is this a uh, Is this an initiative situation? Not yet. You are not attacking it. I am. Oh, you are? Yeah. All right, go for it. Taking my spear. I'm going to like go straight for it. All right, well, I'm going to grab onto Onslow's hands and oh, try boy. to brace myself I, and I assist him as much as I can. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wriggling around real hard. I'm probably going to miss that with a 11. Yeah, the you riled up the fucking hornet's nest because he, that you see the rat folk grab the spear and kind of just, like, try to yank it with him as one hand, like, this thing is moving, like, halfway, so one side's trying to pull the spear down with it, the other one's trying to let Onslow grab off the ledge, and the head is biting onto the back of his head. I'm making an attack and it gets a chance to grab my weapon? Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna try and pull him up? Yeah. Uh, I, I will roll assist. Roll athletics. Eight. Sixteen. You just, ho you, with some unknown strength, <laughs> hoist him up enough. My baby! <laughs> yeah, you Mom strength. You, ho you hoist him up enough that he's able to at least, like, get most of his upper body onto the, onto the side of the, uh, onto the floor. It's funny, because I but feel But he's like still got that slow. thing biting down hard on the back of his head. Gotcha. It's, it's going for his head, like, more than anything else. Um, these things are horrible. Nat 20, it rolled on him. Oh my Christ! God. Oslo, no! That's crazy damage. The fuck is this thing? Oslo, no. Yeah, Oslo's KO'd. Okay. The fuck is this thing that rolls 2d8 damage? What the fuck? Uh, Oslo's not dead, he's just below yeah, health just right now. This thing bored into the back of his head and got something in there. Okay, so Guys, that's not good. Get, 
If, if we can get this thing off, I might be able to do something for him, but I don't think I can do nothing with this thing still drilling into him. All right, as I believe my initiative is just after it's in this case, I'm going to go well, ahead We're going to roll for initiative it. after this. All right, All right, I'm attacking it again. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. So what are you attacking it with? A spear first. All right. That's six damage. It's only taking three. It's a sp it's fucking speared. It's slashing damage on the slime. But it's a rat. It has a body. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. So, so you were attacking the rat? Were well, you were attacking the it. rat or the slime? The rat's the one biting at him, isn't it? Yes. So yeah. you're okay. That's fine. Then yeah, you're going for the rat. I thought you were going for the slime. I apologize. I, f I figure the slime is inhabiting the rat. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll let so, that. I'll. I will let that go. I apologize. All right. So that, that's, that's uh, me. That's me just looking at this sheet and just going. Six damage. Oh, no. fo follow up melee. Uh, that is a fifteen to hit. That will hit. Yay! There it is. Go. Uh, that is five damage. So what was that in total? Uh, eleven. Five or uh, six piercing, five blunt. Six piercing, five blunt. Yeah, you uh, you cut the neck off of the uh, rat folk, and it kind of just goes like kind of trying trying really hard to keep latched on, but the head just kind of let goes as I, as, and I, everything, as I kick it into the abyss or something. Yep, as everything else kind of just goes <laughs> slides off his back and into the abyss. Okay, that's right. horrific. I'm gonna cast cure wounds on Onslow. Um, uh, before you do that, before we seal up the back of his head, okay. let's make sure it didn't deliver anything in there. Okay, yeah. Let's, like a uh, medical check? Yeah, let me take, like, a, a medicine check and see. Thank you. Thank you. You're, I, I was panicking. Uh, 13. 13? Apart from red slime just sitting there and a giant fucking gaping hole, mm -hmm. you could see tendons just sitting there. Yeah, nothing else kind of entered in there. Didn't leave a tumor? Okay. Didn't leave a tumor. Okay. It left slime and a gaping hole. Well, let's All try, right. let's let's try to get that slime like, out. Yeah, I was going to say, can we clean it? Yeah, try and clean the wound as best I can. All right. Do you, what do you do? It's a medicine check, right? You, you clean a wound? I would think so, yeah. I'll, I'll assist since I'm there. Uh, 21. Yeah, I only have a 7 to add. You, you're you like, uh, maybe <laughs> that Lady Big that. Rock Mountain has served you well, knowing how to get rid of shit like this. <laughs> you, you clean that wound lickety-split. I do have field medicine training. Um, all right, and then uh, a cure, cure wounds, which will heal him for... Uh, plus seven, seven hit points of healing. He's back up. Whoa! <laughs> Onslow, are you okay? Does anything feel off? Anything strange? I'm, I'm sure you're in a lot of pain, but, you know, anything unnatural going on right now? Onslow is just, like, in gator mode, just mouth open, just, like, like you, you hear, like, fucking an angry snarl come at him, but he's not in any condition to stand up right now. All right, Onslow, you take it easy. We'll, we'll try to keep, keep getting you better while making sure nothing gets near us. Oh, he he looks so livid. Like I want to give him a healing potion, but I don't want to get near his mouth. So I just kind of like <laughs> set, set it, it on the ground and then back away. Just splash. <laughs> just, just <laughs> eats it glass and all. <laughs> oh great! That'll probably damage him more than it heals. He's got Sh a gator mouth. So what was Shattered that? Two glass D two D four. Uh, two D four plus, plus, plus two. two. Oh my god, two ones. Ah! Ugh. He's only getting six HP back. Enough to stand up, but boy howdy, he doesn't look too good. He's looking a little razzled there. You want another one, buddy? I am out of healing potions. <laughs> He'll take it. All right. Yeah, because that's the first real bit of damage he's taken this entire... Yeah. Sounded like I didn't. I can't see those those dice rolls from here. Sounded like it was a real bit of damage, though. <laughs> it was. It was ridiculous. I don't want to get ambushed by one of them. <laughs> okay, so well, I think four, we're all on alert now. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, he's not back to full, but he's way better than he is than he was before. Okay. He is back on his feet, ready to go. Okay. I'm going P to assume you picks up his gun. He looks towards one of the barrels that was next to it. There's like one there that thing just came out of, and another crate. He takes aim and shoots at it. I'm okay with yeah. this course of action. 
He doesn't break it, but something else comes out. It was the lower torso of the rat. It's <laughs> the pair of legs. Wrapped in slime, or yep. encased and in slime. Encased in slime with tumors on it. And that tumor's got the face of a man on it. Oh, boy. That's a that's a human face on that lower torso. <laughs> that's less... I, I, uh. Wait, you still have that dynamite, right? Can we just blow this place to hell? <laughs> I mean, I could, with this, I could probably <laughs> blow up one of them. I don't know how many sticks of dynamite you hit. Uh, <sighs> Trust me, I'm saving that for something <laughs> necessary. And I don't think it's... Fuck it, I'm stabbing this fucking thing. <laughs> Alright, go for it. I lunge forward with my spear. Nat 20. Yeah, you got it. I, 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 I would believe hope. so. Uh, what if you like rolled a nat twenty? Ten damage. Ten damage. Yeah, that that hits it. You <laughs> punch. You punch it in its face tumor. Well, no, I, I stab it. Oh, like, you stab it with its face tumor. tumor. <laughs> Why though? Because <laughs> you're horrible. You're horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna find out these tumors are just you know innocent and all of this. They're just <laughs> they being probably are. Being remember, remember what the uh, remember what me told you about the whole tumors thing. I. Don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. It, isn't that how the abyssals get in? Yep. Yep. So whoever's been here, your your little tenant who went a little crazy with the rat folk, he's mm. doing something with the abyssal here. You may have found your man yep. in some yep. regard. I had a feeling. All right. Well, that's dead. Thank God. Well, now there's more. There, you still got another okay. crate over on the side, and then you got the whole platform right in front of you. Of course, we and do. that's where the and you saw slime kind of leak out towards where the bridge was supposed to go. Yeah. All right. And so. this thing is two stories tall. <laughs> oh. Can't just run over and kick it off the ledge. <laughs> I mean, we could we could set the dynamite and just blow it off the ledge, maybe. But we've got one stick of it, and I kind of agree with Wake that. We should hold on to that until absolutely necessary. Two stories of horrible tumor slime? <laughs> I'm I'm at a loss. What could be more necessary than that? The likely more stories of slime as we travel <laughs> deeper. <laughs> that. <laughs> I have a feeling we're encountering the ads, not the boss here. <laughs> and they already do terrifying damage. Part of me is These trying to These things are remember. horrible. <laughs> I don't like dealing with them, but they all need to die. A big part of me is I like, ah. Uh, Onslow we, looks <laughs> over to the side where he was about to fall off. He does notice that there was, there are two other platforms over there. There used to be bridges there. They're get, they've been cut and torn to uh, fall off to the side. But there are more crates that haven't been touched by slime that are sitting in the far end. Uh, real quick, I have five candles. I'm going to light one of them and just kind of throw it off to see, like, Watch the light fall. Watch the light fall? Yeah, Alright, go for to it. See, to I mean, see it's a candle. It probably won't stay lit very long. Uh, probably a torch would be better for that scenario. I have an extra one. Okay, well, that's... But, I mean, I was gonna say, the fact I, that that thing just goes down and looks to go down forever, I think it's best just not to fall anyway. Oslo takes a piece of the dead wood from the crate, takes out flint and tinder <laughs> off his teeth. And sets it on fire and throws it down. That'll Oslo's do. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ten seconds later, splash. Curiosity sated. It's a big fall. Don't go into water though. Into water, yes. So not the worst. Or a really big slime. True. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. <laughs> Don't want to go swimming in that. I don't think I can breathe that. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so we've still got that box. Or we have that box rare. down there. Uh, and Onslow said that looking off to the side, he saw that there were more boxes on the other extra platforms where the bridges were cut. Okay, so there are, you, there are boxes here, presumably? And the, yeah, here and the, th there and there. Okay. He can't see from far away, but he does see a big letter T on it. For time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have this platform down here, which is just covered in boxes that look like the slime has gotten to them. Yes. <laughs> I mean, not to bring this up, I know every time I've used fire, it seems like something bad has happened to at least <laughs> one of us. But again, it seems like these guys have got a lot of wine. Alcohol might be 
flammable at this point. I'll, I'll test it. Well, you got some slime in front of us. I'm going to try and light it on fire. All right, light the slime on fire. I attempt. It starts, like, where the fire is, it tries to spread apart to get away from it, but the the embers kind of just, like, sear at it. So it's, you know, like, on, uh... So it doesn't burn, but it, like... It does not like fire. It creme brulees. It, it creme brulees. You know, like, uh, in old films where, like, the film is set on fire and it melts yeah. with a giant, like, hole in it? Mm -hmm. It, it kind of looks like that. Okay. So, hey, guys, I think fire might be helpful in, uh, <laughs> dealing with these if they get close. Possibly. Do we all want to just wield torches and be ready should anything get near? I think I'm still better off with my spear, to be frank. I, that's fair. But I hand you a torch, <laughs> but you can. It only takes one hand to use a dagger, so... <laughs> my offhand, I'll just wield, wield the torch. Wield fire. I guess I'll have to set it down if I crossbow, but... At this point, I don't know how useful that's going to be against stuff like this. Yeah. Piercing damage, slime, not good generally. All right, so I guess so what we'll are you guys gonna do? I guess we'll move down to this platform. We'll obviously check. Onslow that is not going forward right now. He's oh. still holding the back of his head. He is like getting a pieces of his shirt and like using it as a tourniquet around his around his head. Oh, I can help that you out with be that, buddy. Well healed. Oh no, he knows, but it's, yeah. he doesn't want the blood leaking out. And plus, what if something attacks his head again and tries to go in it? I got, I got actual bandages in here. You need a hand with that, buddy. Yep, that would work. 14. Yep, you get bandages around his head. All right. All right. Took a knocking, but he just keeps walking. <laughs> you okay to move on, Onslow? I, I feel like your prey is close by. Pulls his gun out, and he's ready to go again. <laughs> he looks to that one barrel over there on the side. He ain't taking chances. Takes another shot at it. Bad. That hits, <laughs> but that... Okay, so you watch as that whole section of the fucking side of the area just blows up. That was a box full of TNT. Jeez. None of us got blown up this perilous ledge. <laughs> well, we're standing we're back here. Along. Yeah, you're standing back there, but all of this is gone. <laughs> all right, so that's abyss now. <laughs> You know, some of these might be TNT. We might need to hold off in case we need to use those as, like, a trap. Of course, others of them might be traps. So, so everything that's lining that big platform, that's all slimy boxes. It look, it look, yeah, it looks like what you see is, from this angle, it's a staircase that leads up to the second floor. Mm -hmm. And then there's boxes on each floor. Like, layered up, so a box on top, box over here, and they go around, mm -hmm. and it kind of curves, but there's all slime dripping off it. Great. <laughs> I mean, those, if they're all TNT, that could be good, because they're pretty, like, equally spaced. If we hit all of them, it could just blow the whole thing up. That'd be great. I like your angle, Eloy. However, if it's not... I don't know. It also seems real convenient <laughs> that somebody would set this up so you can just just blow it all to hell real easy. I mean, that is an experiment. He might have known what he was dealing with and was ready to, let's say, uh, stop the experiment real quick if things went wrong. Whatever he said in his journal also said he was running out of supplies. This might be the product of all that finite supplies yeah. of his. Well, either way, we got to get rid of it. I know we're just here to scout, but this shit can't stand. We weren't here to scout this. We were here to hunt the man maw. You can deal with the pirates in your own way. This is my quarry. Yeah, but this is your quarry. Forward. Your quarry is related to our mission. <laughs> well, he starts walking forward. Look, if he kills the man maw for us, I'm not going to complain. I'm with him. Yeah. If he kills a bunch of tumors while killing the man maw, <laughs> man -maw for us, like... <laughs> Dabbing as we're back there. All right, so let me set Just having a up. good time. <laughs> May the battle begin. Here we Ooh. go. Looks like it's about to be Attack of the Killer Tomatoes over here. Oh, that was a big. That's all one creature. Oh, that's Man Ma. Man Mothma. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what you are staring at. 
what we are staring at. What you are staring at is a two-story tall slime with a pile. And I mean, you know Legion from Castlevania? Just corpses. Just a ball of corpses inside a giant yeah. red slime. And they all have it's that one bloodborne boss whose yeah. name I'm and on. it's the got one a reborn. it's got a giant yeah. it's also got a giant rat folk face tumor sticking out of it. Oh. Burr, 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 burr. Well, that's gonna and make the, it. and well, you watch the the thing now sees you, so now it's in like full alert mode. So it saw you come in, it opens its mouth. You watch as like there's like this necrotic sort of like surface on the inside of it, as it throws up. Another zombie. This thing is summoning shit that's not there. Oh, no. Are we rolling initiative now? Yeah, go ahead and roll initiative. I'm going to put the other bodies oh, there. Oh, 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 I need that. This thing just summoned two ski halls right there. This is bad news for us. <laughs> that is a 23 for initiative for me. Alrighty. At least someone got something good. So yeah. when he summons the skeletons, like uh, skeletons, they have two, uh, they have other tumors on him. One of them has the face of an orc. The other one has the face of a newborn child. Oh, that's Great. awful. Depending on what scares you more, we've now got <laughs> we've one. got orcs and babies <laughs> yeah. and giant yeah. rat men. I'm more afraid of big scary monsters. I'm more afraid of creepy babies. Well, we got both. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about cancer? <laughs> Just cancer. <laughs> well, well I know I know what my first turn is. My initiative is seven. All righty. Uh, hold on. Let me just uh, get this list going. I'm sorry. Sure, sure, you're good. No worries. All right. So we have a a lot on, to deal with. like. That's the man maw, but it ain't quite right, the man maw. Oh, I would I, never. Uh, I I could put that together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Grant, what was your number? Seven. Seven. Ben? Uh, 13. 23. All right, roll for Onslow. Oh, you rolled nine. I thought you rolled a six. Onslow okay. is 10. So he's going in between Ben and Grant. Now it's time to roll for the man maw. The maw. <laughs> They're fuckers. Well, here's the fun part about the Maw. The Maw's got shit dexterity. That is nice. So he's going... Especially for what's about to happen. Yep. The Maw is going right after Onslow. And now for the ski tolls. Just don't be faster than me. Don't be faster than me. Don't be faster than me. <laughs> ski tolls are in between Lanny and Ben. Okay. Not faster than me. Ski tall one, ski tall with orc face, ski tall with baby face. Our baby face ski tall. Baby face ski tall is. <laughs> That's my rapper name. <laughs> baby face ski tall. <laughs> baby face ski tall is going after the man maw. So, Grant, oh, unfortunately, so. you are on the end of this list. I'm very slow. It's fine. All right. I'm just a rogue. Who would expect them to be quick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lanny, you're up first. I pull the dynamite out of my pocket Good and move. I light it with my elemental affinity. And then I huck it so that I'm trying to land it kind of like right between the skeletons and Roll the man maw here. All right. I appreciate this course of action. Uh, that is a 15. 15? You don't quite get it in between them, but you do get it here. Yeah, mar mark where I get it, because... Yeah, I will mark where you set this thing. Uh, can you throw me my uh, box of, uh, box of, there you go. Thank you. Box of goodies. Yep. Your art box. Okay, so I get it between the man-ma and one of them. Yes. All right, that dynamite does not blow just yet. It had a long fuse. It's gonna blow, though, don't you worry. All right, it is a dex save. <laughs> Let me just roll something real quick. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, what else do you do? Do you um, move? I am going to get between Ezra and Eloy and the skeletons. All righty. Uh, next is 
Scutal won. Mr. Scutal saw that movement. Mr. Scutal, with an orc's face, is gonna come barreling forward. Okay, orc face coming barreling forward. At, oh, there goes the dynamite. Oh well, the, the man maw was my main target. I, At Onslow. I may be able to do something about that. If he's attacking Onslow and he enters my area, is that an attack of opportunity? No, you took your turn. Alright, fair enough. The face throws up a spike out of that same, like the Ooh. mouth opens Ooh. up and throws like a necrotic like spike out of its mouth. Yeah, my, my, I look to the side as that's happening and was like, <laughs> oh. The, or, the orc screams something in orcish at him. You no, Does anyone here speak I that? Sp nope. Don't speak nope. orcish. So you have no idea what the fuck it just said, but it was a language. <laughs> my weakness is this. <laughs> it tries to kill do you speak orc? <laughs> said you're going to die. Fair enough. Ah, oh, all right. Thanks, Kev. Guys, yeah. Kevin's piece of work. <laughs> Actually, if that means... <laughs> Actually, I just hazard a guess at that. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> well... If these things still have minds, that might actually be good for us, because <laughs> lots of my spells require that. <laughs> All right, takes a shot at Onslow, and Onslow pushes it away just in time. Nope. Yet yeah, no! Done he with that shit. Takes the butt of his gun and goes, Pugh! no. All right, uh, it is now Ben's turn. All right, I am going to use my last spell slot, and I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on Orcface Boy. He gets a wisdom saving throw. He's one wise slime ball. What's the DC on that? Uh, 13. It oh. matches. Because it actually has a negative wisdom. Oh, a negative wisdom. wisdom? Damn. Yeah. Well, in that case, it doesn't flee, which is too bad, because I was hoping to make it flee right back into the path of the dynamite. Uh, but it does take half damage, and damage is 3d6, so that's... Hot oh, damn. 6, 11... 11. Uh, 13, half, so rounded down six, six. damage. Alrighty. I played my spooky song at him. <laughs> but but he's already real spooky, so it didn't work too he good. He did the mash. It's the the monster man. Monster swing. <laughs> a monster Christmas <laughs> is a rolling in. Onslow kind of like grabs the spike that came at him. Pulls the guy up in front of him and puts the muzzle of his gun right <laughs> in his face. Execution style. Oh. And misses. And click. And click. The slime stops the bullet. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Ah, he takes a bite out of it. <laughs> he's biting the slime? Oh, yeah, I don't know he, he is. should be ingesting that. He no, he's so he's, mad. He's not, he's not going to swallow. <laughs> he's so mad, he takes a bite. And he fucking actually hits. He gets a good chunk on Mr. Scutal. And where's Onslow's bite damage? Here it is. Here's the eight. Is this an eight? Yeah, it's an eight. Five. Nine points of damage. He watches Onslow, like, rips. Like, he doesn't even so take it's, the so whole... So it's taking 15 points of damage so far. Yeah. Okay. He's taking 15 points of damage. He takes, like, the neck. He doesn't take the whole piece of the skeleton off. He just rips into it. <laughs> That's a gator bite for you. If he had the room and the wiggle space too, he'd start death rolling right now. Uh, Man Maw's turn. Don't go too far, <laughs> Mr. Man Maw. Good thing your deck sucks. It means you're slow, right? Takes the thing inside of him. <laughs> ah. I'm back. He's in the maw. He's in the manly maw. <laughs> uh, this um, is getting spooky. Because my plan was going to be to sneak out the other way, but <laughs> nothing doing now. The rat looks down at what's in front of him. Should be me, I'm guessing. No, he looks at you and Onslow. And he's like... No, he, he, yeah, he start, starts gargling, but you thought you could have heard him say something about this was un like he screams like this was unjust. <laughs> Just what? a little. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. Ooh, That's how the campaign ended. Is that as bad as it sounds? That's Just it's nat twenty. Who's it attacking? Is it an area attack? 
feel like it's splash damage. Oh no! Who's it attacking, Zito? Who's dead, me or Onslow? Oh, you're rolling in on. Yes. Excellent. Oh, God. One quick thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. It's pulling out the monster manual. Oh. Where's my whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> that dynamite better do some damn good damage. <laughs> I almost forgot that was there. Thank you for Keep reminding me. Oh, good. So you catch the, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so what's happening, Zito? All right, so um, all of you roll me dexterity saves. Hey, I got all right dexterity. But not good rolls. Uh, that was 18, 20. Okay. 13. 19. All right. Everyone except for Grant and Onslow, you're only taking half damage. Yay! Half of a crit. Oh, you rolled a one. Yay! Yay! All right, so hold on a minute. One. But a one divided in half. Two. Well, but a one doubled is two, so I'd be taking one. Yeah, so you both are legitimately taking one point of damage. What it did do, what it was trying to do was it was trying to pulse a wave of slime over everyone and then plunge Suck them back in. in. Uh. Unfortunately, you guys are getting full damage so two, and are now and inside the, the man maw. Uh. Okay. And now I roll for digestion. For digestion. Uh. There's the 20. No, I'm not doing a 20. That's rude. Yeah, it's rude. I'm holding a torch. <laughs> I don't think the man ma cares too much. I think your torch just got... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, a 12. Motherfucker. It does a D12 hey, digest hey, you're, damage? Hey, you are real bad at digesting things, man ma. Subtract this 1D6 from that. Cutting words. Two. 10. 10 points of damage. Times two, because it was a 20. Uh, wait, it, it, you know. weren't rolling for digestion. We were, I know. I okay. Was, <laughs> I just did that. I was, I looked, you don't do that. The, the look at Grant's face I was, like, was then like, then I'm out. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, no, so 10 points of damage. Okay. And you are restrained. Great. Well, and now the dynamite explodes. Yay. With... Onslow and <laughs> I mean, uh, hold on. How, how big of an area of is the dynamite blowing up here? Because like, what, what's the AOE of this dynamite? Because if <laughs> I were to hinder a guess, I'd say they're sucked into the front half here. Yeah. So, <laughs> ten feet across. So that, that, that. So just missing at least Eloy or at least Ezra. I want a chain reaction with those boxes next to it. They're all full of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mammoth's taking a good chunk of that. And since we didn't, you didn't know how much damage it did, I'm going to tell you what it did. Yeah, what does it do? 2d12. Fire damage. <laughs> May I? <laughs> Here, take the metal die as well. I'll take a metal die and mine. Nah, oh, two critical that is failures. 12. Uh, I got a 12 on this one. Is that a 12 too? No, that's a 7. Okay, so that's 19 damage of fire. All right, you Firing did, 19. You did 19 points of damage to this thing. Oh, that seemed like it didn't like fire. That should have some sort of bonus. <laughs> it just didn't <laughs> resist it. <laughs> Man Maw is taking a substantial point of damage. Yay! All right, good job. You actually did a good chunk of the Man Maw. Good chunk to that man maw there. You, I hope you, so. You watch as, like, the one side of the bodies that were encasing it for the tumor to latch onto 
falls off, so, like, a piece of the flesh of the tumor goes with it and corrodes away. So, like, you see, like, half its jawline, like, disappear. <laughs> and you watch as, like, instead of, like, you know when you look at the wound and, like, blood would come out? Instead of that, it's that necrotic-looking, like, surface. It uh -huh. almost... It, it almost looks like, you know, in Super Mario 64 when you jump into the cave hole and it's the metallic sort of, like, puddle of water? No, it like, kind of looks like that. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. And since that was the dynamite's turn, is it now my turn? It is now Grant's turn. Or is it Grant, back up to no, the top? No, it's Grant's oh, turn. Grant's oh, Grant. Grant. to, to go yet. You have to escape. Yeah. So, right, so I'm guessing rolling like a dex thing to get out of here? You are rolling me... Yeah. Mm. You are rolling me a... Deck save with disadvantage. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you're swimming as best you can. We've got a 14 or a 15. So 14. 14. Let me roll for the mammoth. We have too many die in here right now. We do. Let's let's clear let's clear this. <laughs> oh oh for fuck's sake. I'm guessing I can't move. Yeah. You don't escape. <laughs> It's it cinched up real tight with like it's it puckered its sphincter when it uh. Man, you. I had such a cool plan ready because I was like, oh, I've got like second story action. I can climb this thing really fast, <laughs> but I guess not. Yeah. Now that, that I'm stuck in it. Yeah, that's kind of your turn. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Now it's on slow. Or? On slow, yes. Hey man, you don't decide what the dice roll. You yeah. just throw them. I, I, I'm fucking. I really wish it wasn't. A tw I'm not trying to actively kill you guys. <laughs> hey, maybe on slow will do well. <laughs> well, on slow has to roll to get out now. Oh, oh by the way, on slow's only at two HP right now. Ooh. Splendid. On slow gets out. Wait, no, we gotta roll. Yeah, he gets out. Good, on slow. Save yourself. Onslo fucking point your gun and blow him open. Yeah, even Onslo if it hits me. I <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Click. <laughs> that hits. Whew. All right, let's see what to do. Where's my two d8s? I was gonna say he's got. Wonderbus is a really good weapon. Yeah, but the problem is, is that he has to reload it every turn. Yeah. So you're sacrificing damage for a turn. A turn for damage. I apologize. Yeah. So that's nine, 11 points of damage. Let's see if we can get the Gimme Bros to get a modified blunderbuss that, like, he can do something that'll attack while he's reloading it. This thing's horrific, and I want it dead. All right. Uh, next is Skutal 2. Yeah, the rat one that's the inside. No, no, the baby face one. Oh, the baby face one that's inside the yes. man mall. I'm guessing it can move freely. It can move freely, and it's going for Grant. That's Aww. what I figured. I've got my dagger ready. And does a, a 17 hit. And a fizzled out torch. Yes, it does. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, you dumb skelly! You stay away from my friend! You are a bad skelly man! Skelly shouldn't move! You're dumb! <laughs> remove <laughs> remove 1d6 from it. Moves a 2. So that drops to what? Match. 15. 15? Oh, wait, no, it, it beats me still. Uh, oh, it beats you still? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I tried. <laughs> All right, you watch. Oh, the, I appreciate the, the ba effort. The, you know baby, the baby looks at you. <laughs> the baby looks at you and you perfectly ah. hear No, you perfectly hear it. Mom! Spike. Ah! These things sound like they have so much problems. Where's my 12? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh. Seven. I have three HP. All right, I'm going We're back to... up the list. I'm using all of my key, yeah. all that I got left. Its body's kind of like water. Can you just water whip it off of this thing? That's <laughs> what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> is I'm going to use the water whip and use the pull of my water whip to get you out. All right, I appreciate. Because I can pull in anything I want within 30 feet. You explained it. I'll allow it. Roll with advantage. All right. So, well, it, this isn't a roll. This is a save. It has to save. Uh, it needs to make a dex save. Which is good because... Hey, one it's dex is awful. Fun. Exactly. It has negatives in it. <laughs> good. Uh, it needs to make a DC... Where the fuck is my saving? Uh, eight, dex plus. So it's 10 plus 2 plus... It needs to make a DC 16. How many negatives does it have? Five. <laughs> You got one more of those bad dice in I it. I do. In wait, fact. It, wait, it has negative five. Yeah. Never mind, it fails. 
Okay. <laughs> Good. Woo! That. All right. Yep. Three D10 damage, and I'm using my pole to pull him out. Up! So he gets pulled out of the man and I'm doing. Roll me. You roll acrobatics. You roll athletics. Well, no, this is just a thing. It, this, oh, it's part of the move. It just pulls anything 25 feet. Oh, all right. On fair a enough. fail. Fair enough. No. This is a D10, right? Yeah, I that's a dab D10. on my way out. D10. Of man -mon. Yeah, that's yeah, it's D10. All right. So damage that's number one. Token. Seven does. plus nine. Does you, 11 damage. You're whipping it with itself. Yeah, I just... <laughs> whoop, sh 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 and then as I pull it back, you come out of the man maw with it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> a big spike in me, and... And I am exhausted. <laughs> All right, Scootal 1. This fucking thing's still alive, this motherfucker. Oh, it's mad at me. It's mad at you. Okay, it would be. I don't blame it. Roktar Ogar. <laughs> Does a what hit? Does a 16 hit? No, it does not. I <laughs> karate man my way through this. Yeah. Can I? What? <laughs> Can I scam it into not attacking me? Alrighty, uh, Ben, you're up. <laughs> I've got nothing else left to do. Don't you have like a short bow or something? Yeah, you have weapons. I've yeah, weapons with piercing damage. No, what I've I've got nothing else left to do but. You big stupid man, Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't even eat a guy that's inside you. Vicious mockery. He's right. <laughs> Wisdom saving. How dumb is it? <laughs> this guy's 16. Oh. <laughs> it is unaffected by my vicious mockery. I, there's no way I can assist, huh? <laughs> it just pulls out of one of the fucking mouths. Just make it. The mouth opens. It makes a middle finger, and then goes back in. Who's attacking now? Oh wait, uh, that's a good question. Uh, that's Onslow actually is going. Yeah. Okay, oh, Onslow, actually, help. I, actually, I take that back. I have one other thing I can do, which I will do as a bonus action. I will. Grant Onslow my last bardic inspiration die. You are the best alligator man I have ever seen. Kill you can kill this thing. thing. I believe in you. Within the next 10 minutes, he can add a d6 to a... He's a, doing it now. All right. Well, maybe. Yeah, he is. Is he adding it to the damage? Uh, he can add it to the ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, but okay, not Okay, so he doesn't need it right now. No, he doesn't yeah, need so it. Yeah, so he's got it for the duration of this fight if he needs it. Yep, so he just fucking... He's gonna shoot this fucking orc right in front of him, the orc face one. Why the orc? Because he's right, so he's right there. So horrific. He's right there. Blocking him. It's right yes. there. All right, Onslow's gonna take that shot. Oh wait, no, he has to reload. That's his move action, though. Yeah, it? yeah, that's his move and his reload. In case Ooh. he had to move, so he's okay with doing twelve points of fucking damage plus his dex. That orc better be fucking dead. Yeah, no, it's dead. It was it had like so little health left yeah, no, compared you, to the rest of these things. You 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 watch as it scree it fucking lets out a horrific scream and the puddle explodes and the 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 icker that was inside like the man maw kind of just like goes over it and it just vanishes. And the slime like just hits the floor. And now it is man maw's turn. Here we go. Man Ma. You hurt my baby. I'm gonna kill the Gator Man. No, don't kill the Gator Man. We like the Gator Man. Uh, opens his mouth. As soon as the Man Ma speaks, I suddenly empathize with it a little bit. O opens his mouth and a skeletal hand comes out. <laughs> a Bone Mancer! Yeah, that hits. Onslo! Uh, Ons, no! Can Onslow use that bardic inspiration? Yeah, he can. Thing, uh, Actually, that's a good idea. If he gets a saving throw, then yeah, he can. Oh, it's not a saving throw, is it? It's just an attack. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Mm, it is just a, it's just an attack. Yeah. One point of damage. Ha! He lives. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Onslow hanging in there. Onslow is just like... <laughs> you and me both, Onslow. <laughs> Got nothing left to give. I I am so happy I rolled that one. I'm like, I don't want to kill Onslow. I that'd be so sad. You've just got art. Even for if him. he just fall, even if he just falls unconscious, that bardic inspiration dice is then so sadly just sitting if, there. If Onslow forever. was to die, I would at least want him to die killing the man mom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right, you're up. Well, I'm battling up. the man mom. <laughs> no, this is his prize. This is but his then old young Cletus is just gonna hang that over the village forever. We Damn can't it! Let oh yeah, that. no, he's gonna be like. 
save the body of, of Onslow? I'll put it up on my wall. Yeah. I'll mantle. All right, so it's my turn? Yep. Uh, I have one more flask of oil left. I'm just going to huck it at the man moth. Like light it on fire and huck it? I was going to douse the man moth in oil and then set fire to the man moth. But if you think it would be better to... If you're able to use your move action, just like throw a rag in it and light it ablaze. Do uh, I can uh, I'll allow him to uh, here's the thing is okay. that that's gonna take two actions: setting it on fire and then throwing it. Okay, I'm going to do that. So I can't like so you're, you're saying not I allowed can, to move. I can't no, move, you're... but I can. But from my position, which is pretty damn close. Alright, so you're gonna set it on fire. Yes. And then hurl it at the man mob. Yes. Do me a quick favor. Just roll me a straight intelligence check. Is that what crafting is? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Do I not know how to do this, even though I've done it before? <laughs> no, you set it on fire, but you take your hand with it a little bit. <laughs> for <laughs> one point of damage. Okay, I'm not dead yet. You chuck it at the man maw. I guess I say, like, for five, four points of damage, you lit yourself on yeah. fire. You are dead. <laughs> so you, are, you are burning. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a dex. Yep, for, roll me a dex. One. Hey, uh, 19. That hits. Whoosh! <laughs> As I'm lighting, just, ah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to roll 2d6. Where's my sixes at? Oh, here we go. This is uh, Grant's damage. Where my yeah. sixes at? Yeah, is Grant, you roll the 2d6. Yeah, roll the 2d6. First one. Five. five. Nice. Second one. Another five. Hey, five Ten two, damage. Fire. Times two. Because it's fire. Oh, so, so 20, 20 damage. damage. To the man mod. Damn. You actually throw the vial right at its face. The fire. You watch as like the, the entire body and face. Like there's still slime there. It's like just wriggling around. But then you watch as the inside of it, the core just erupts into purple flame. <laughs> <laughs> This thing doesn't know how to cope with itself. It's like, ah, I'm throwing shit all over the place. It knocks the bridge down behind it. Uh-oh. It, no, it, it knocks it in place. So oh, now it okay. falls down, and now you can get into the cave if you so chose to. Okay. <laughs> did, I, did I kill the man -ma? <laughs> You burned the man -ma to death, Grant. You got it. man -ma is kill. Ugh, sorry for kill stealing you there, Hanslow. Hope you can forgive me. There's still this baby. <laughs> <laughs> or did the baby die with the man ma? No, it's still there. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Got Jesus. some beard in your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The baby's still there. So, baby is just like. Oh, no, not again! Again? <laughs> it doesn't say not again, but. It kind of like oozes down. It actually kind of like reaches into where the baby's mouth is. It tries to rip it up, and you watch as it's taking a turn to try and puke up another body. Oh, oh uh, let's kill that. Uh, it is going to need a concentration. So before it does that, before it goes, it's gonna go. Oh no! It's gonna attempt to run. It's gonna go. <laughs> yep, it's trying to summon something else. All right, uh... It is now your turn. Back up the list. Yep. You ain't going nowhere! <laughs> uh, da, 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 there's my 20. Stabity, stabity! Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Uh, that will hit. All right. De-sixify. That is, uh... Five damage, and then follow up melee attack. That is a 19 to hit. That hits. That is seven damage, so total 12 damage. You rip its spine clean out of the slime. <laughs> with Sub zero the, with wins. The, with no body to with no body to inhabit, and no like with no skeletal or like muscle or any kind of like mass to take hold of it except for the slime the slime kind of just melts along with it and the tumor hits the floor trying to reach for something but then just dies 
<laughs> and with so that, who wants to take a rest? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that's the end of the actual session, though. Woo! Ooh, Happy Halloween, times. everybody! Fucking man, Ma's dead. Yeah. We I, I we gotta loot the good, shit out of that. Good job beating the optional boss, guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we learned something. We learned we learned a lot of stuff, and you know what? It wasn't optional. Onslow needed this. <laughs> it almost killed him, but he needed it. Yep. <laughs> One hit point. <laughs> uh, thank Holy you all crap. for joining us here at the table. Uh, just as a quick announcement, I do plan on like I plan on having like a little Halloween shig dig get together at my place. Ooh. I will be streaming the event. We'll be watching movies, eating sloppy joes, chilling with chat. Feel free to pop by, say hello, join us for some Halloween. Cool goodness. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna watch me some spooky movies. That's what we're doing too. But eating Slappy Joes in the meanwhile and giving candy to trick-or-treaters. I'm doing steak and baked potatoes, actually. Ooh, sloppy Ooh. Joes have always been, like, my family's Halloween thing. Oh, I like a Sloppy I, Joe. I don't. Well, you're I, more than welcome. <laughs> I'm just sitting here just like, Sloppy Joe sounds good. I should have fucking did that. For my <laughs> thing. But I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. We got, we, we ordered the steak, and you know what? That, that, you, you Casey, do it. Casey, you. Casey makes some fucking banging <laughs> fucking... Uh, uh, baked potatoes. Awesome. Well, uh, yep. uh, I think other... Ben. I think Ben will be doing like the final readouts here since I took care of like the mid roll. Yep, I can uh, definitely do that. Other quick announcement: uh, that four star Bento channel is launching. Ooh. That should, as of right now, yeah, as of live. right now, should already the first be episode up. Episode of Kaiser's uh, Saturday morning series. Yeah, Saturday morning sushi. Talking about Ooh. Voltron. Uh, also coming up here pretty soon. It should Shouldn't be the that first. Be going up on Saturdays. I mean, you... it's called. Saturday morning. So I don't just, know. What's in a name? <laughs> we'll talk about Supers. that later. You know what? It's up. It's live. Yep. Go check that out. Uh, there's going to be more stuff coming up within the week. Anime FMK is a real thing that's happening. Check out the Discord. <laughs> <Please> believe us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they filmed it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Discord.gg slash Team Four Star. Talk to people. Join groups. Get some D&D &D on. And moreover, just talk with us. Chill yeah. with us. Yeah. We hope you all enjoyed this. Next week, we'll be back at our normal time. I yes. swear to God, back yep. to a normal schedule. <laughs> Until the holiday break. But Let's still, yeah. say, normal schedule. We'll be back, and then I think the week after that, I'm going out of town. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we'll sit down. We'll figure it out. <laughs> We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick, you want to play a were kangaroo? Oh man! <laughs> oh, geez. I only got to transform like once, and I think I just used it to intimidate someone. I don't think I even fought that. Thank okay. you all for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time Woo! at the table. Man, -ball. Okay, we got some bit drops to do as soon as I get this thing up here. Let me just scroll back a little bit, try and make sure we get everybody. Apologies if I miss anybody. Uh, let's see, we got... I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this is more than far back enough. There might be some repeats, that's okay. Yeah, uh, we got D&D uh, &D is... Uh, oh, wait, that's... Hold on. Get that, get that. There we go. Okay. We got uh, the Reclining Reader with the two-month sub. We got Starstruck with a seven-month sub. We got Dar to Dar with 300 bits saying, For Ben, just so he can say my name again. I think I heard Nick uh, calling that one out, but you wanted me to say your name, so I did. Uh, we got... Uh, the Grey Ghost, 92 with a Prime sub. We got Fox and Pals. Oh, yeah, Nick definitely got these. We got, let's see, Fox and Pals again with 500 bits saying, kicking ass with what y'all are doing. Finally got money. Here are some stuff and things. Thanks for help with the Harvey donation stream. Thank you so much. And thanks to all the super generous people who gave to the Harvey donation stream. 
We got 500 bits from Ashley Umbreon saying, first time giving bits. Love that you guys have started playing D&D and have been loving every minute of this and can't wait to see where you guys go from here on. Me too. In fact, I just heard from Zito that we're leveling up for yep, next that's time. That's a reward for this whole entire shindig for being in this so far and killing the Mamma. Everyone gets a level. Hooray! Levels for everyone. Uh, level for Nostradomus87 with the two-month prime sub t saying Team Four Star is best star. We got 500 bits from Big Jai 75 saying these are for TFS at the table Halloween edition. Goddamn, this session is scary. It was scary. We thought some peoples were going to die, but they didn't. Uh, 10 month sub from Therminator 101 saying going to have to watch the VOD later. Uh, Joey Hen 88 with the two month sub and Lines of Minds saying Onslow no with a thousand bits your thousand bits brought Onslow back he's still alive and oh my god last minute bits from Z Polar Bear 500 of them to be exact saying hey guys hey you guys use my sketch I was stoked seeing my Billy Punchy face we got so much dope Billy Punchy face art I was so happy about that thank you all so much I'm real hungry I'm gonna go try and get some of them sloppy joes but you guys we'll see you Tomorrow at Wednesday, hem, we don't really know who's playing yet, but we'll figure it out. And we got plenty of other cool stuff, too. Please do check out YouTube.com slash 4 Bento for all that sexy new content. I'm going to be in some of it. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye, guys.